Hey everybody, you're about to listen to episode 35 of the Grandma's Virginity Podcast, but before you do, let me clarify a few things about what you're about to hear. The following episode is a c- combination of uh, the best parts of a record we had with Dan Harmon and a more recent record that we did with my sister. Um, Ryan and I decided to sort of splice these the, the, the best parts together so as you listen, it's going to be jumping back and forth between the Dan Harmon stuff, which we recorded about a month ago, and then the uh, stuff with my sister, which we recorded just a little bit ago. Um, no Jackie. Uh, we're still sort of waiting for Jackie to, to, to you know, c- come back to the show, or maybe she won't ever. We don't know. But in the meantime, we've decided, okay, it's, it's time to pick up, pick it back up and just run with it and we're in a little bit of a transitionary phase but whatever i've said too much this is too long already um hold on to your hats and here we go live from inside an unhelpfully obese six-year-old's butthole rim it's the grandma's virginity podcast episode 35 on this week's absurdly delayed floppity mishmash of an episode, Justin shares his latest foolproof strategy for picking up the ladies. No, you didn't deliver it properly. <laughs> You're too hesitant. You're questioning yourself right at the gate. I'm sorry to bother you. Meanwhile, Sister Amy stops by to tell us how attractive women are really treated by men. And the publicist is like, all you want to do is have sex with these two girls. You just want to... And that really tipped Heather off for the rest of the night. She was just in a pissed off mood. It's really angry. This cold, hard reality came, uh, <laughs> came face to face with old Heather that night. And Dan Harmon puts some community stank on listener email for our first installment of Listener Email Theater. Got Jeremiah! Uh, yes, Daphne, I'll be right there. Are you writing another letter? Oh, you know me. Just love writing to my favorite podcast. The cows need to be fed, Jeremiah. You know we are uh, Amish. Right away, Mama. All that and a whole lot more. So grab onto your glump straps, turn on the AC, and tuck under the covers, because away we go. All right, everybody. Welcome to the Grandma's Virginity Podcast, episode 35. With me, as always, is Ryan Ridley. Hello there. And also sitting in for this episode, or at least parts of it, Amy Royland. Hey, yo! My sister. Wow, look at you, Amy. You've got broadcasting chops. Thank yeah. you. You know um, how to really start things off with a bang. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we've got a lot of things we want to talk about. We've got a couple of special segments featuring Dan Harmon, the creator and head writer and god of the, the NBC of community. show Community. Mm. Um, so you'll hear it. Basically, we should clarify. Yeah. Jackie Buscarino, if you've been listening for the past 34 episodes, our usual co-host for the show, is closer to the mic, Ryan. Is MIA. Well, she's not MIA. She well, yeah, she is a little bit. I we, mean, we she's d- hanging out with me, but okay. she won't come but, to yeah. an episode to so record. So we, we, we're having a little trouble, but the show must go on, even though it's been two months since we recorded an episode, and a lot of that was because we couldn't nail down Jackie. But the show must go on. So here we are as we transition and try for to better figure out, or for worse. What, <laughs> as we transition and try to figure out what we're going to do in the future. We're uh, going to maybe have some substitute co-hosts, people sitting in. In this case, it's going to be uh, Amy Royland, a past uh, guest. Uh, and then Dan Harmon. And then, and then Dan Harmon will sort of be a Frankenstein episode. We recorded some stuff with Dan a month ago, and we'll kind of weave that in, stitch it together with You're going to love stuff. it. Let me just put it like this. Yeah. You're in for a real action-packed smorgasbord of an episode. This is a real full speed ahead. It's a real diamond. box of chocolates. Yeah, for all you hungry... <laughs> Fans who have been just e- waiting around like Ethiopian children in the desert uh, for uh, just a scrap. Now, now you're going to get a whole box of chocolates, which I've heard is actually not probably a good thing. I've heard you get really sick. On, yeah, if, if you, you haven't, haven't, eaten, haven't for, eaten anything in several days, eat something rich like that. You're yeah. going to be puking. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, like the guy on I can't believe I'm alive, whose uh-huh. dog fucking makes it all the way through the the forest and finds him and then he fucking eats the poor thing only <gasps> to puke the thing up wait a minute the, oh the, the man anyways, eats look, the dog the man eats his own he fucking dog are you serious dog. yeah that's crazy anyway so we got a great show for you 
Um, what Amy, do we want to talk well, about? Amy, wait, do you have a, rap, a burgeoning rap career? Is that what I keep hearing? Yeah, you're going to be rapping? Yeah. I'm, what I'm are you, ma- you say, I got to get out of here because I'm going to go to the studio to record my rap. Rap, yeah. I'm um, I'm making a, a rap album with Crocky, uh-huh. basically. Crocky is, by the way, for anyone that doesn't know, is the genius behind a lot of the uh, Psychic Abilities raps. Most of them, actually. Uh-huh. Most of the newer ones, the more intricate ones, the ones that you've all grown to love. Yeah, Turd in a yeah. toilet, that's Crocky. Yeah, he's damn good. Yeah. So now what is the, is this going to be a comedic, uh, ironic kind of rap album? It kind of is, but mm. it's actually really good. I'm having a lot of my girlfriends rap on it as well. Oh, really? Can yeah. I hear, can, you, can we hear a little bit? Yeah, Justin? can you freestyle a little? Yeah, Justin, give her a beat. No. Hold on, let me what? see if I can find no, a beat No, I, I can't. I, what? Let me Excuse just see me. if I can dig up a no, beat. No, I can't, you guys, I can't. No, that's fine. Because it's don't a be shy. secret, it's okay. I don't want it, I don't want it out yet. Just a There's little no... bit. You're cool, you're all right, you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me find some of these, uh, some of these rap beats here. This is good warm up. Okay. Hold on, hold on, really quick. Let's see what we got here. What's this? Okay, yeah, this. All right. This one of Crocky's beats. Yeah, this one of Crocky's beats. Go ahead. Yo, yo, suck my dick, dog. Yo, I got my dick hot for you tonight. And I want you to suck my dick because it's really fucking hot for you. Suck my dick. Yo. Like brother, suck like on sister. Suck my dick. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, Amy. <laughs> I think that might be a winning combination, you and Crocky. Yeah. Uh, th- with those beats and those sort of raps and a couple of nice uh, hooks in the middle oh, and yeah. some good, good production value, I- I'm not even kidding. I think you guys might be onto something we there. Do have wow. Good now, stuff. is that, is now they're pre written lyrics, or are you just going to kind of wing it like that? No, no, just let we, the magic no, no. Flow? We, no they're, they're, they're working on it, right? We're working on it, yeah. You're going to put yeah. some yeah. time. But, but, but I got to admit, your freestyle is, uh, you know, top notch. I mean, yeah. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> I, I, there's something appealing about hearing a, a girl. It's rapping about g- getting her dick sucked. <laughs> I don't know what it sister? is exactly. It's I mean, hey, look, you know, any but any any female that that's got it, what? It's, it's, it's willing to go 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 out on a limb like that is. It, I, I'm a fan immediately. It's my favorite. I'll be in line uh-huh. for the first for the, the when the album drops. She's really okay. flipping conventions. Are you guys gonna? But you how guys women gonna, should behave. Are you guys gonna release this album on um on iTunes when when, when you're yeah ready? we are and we're gonna make a music video and everything. Oh, yeah. that's all oh, man. All out. That's, there you go. Wow. That's great. Just, yeah. Wow. He must. Are you, are you now are you making sure that all the uh, business affairs are in order. I don't want to see you get screwed. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. How are you yeah. splitting the uh, the publishing mm-hmm. rights and? He can have it all. Oh really? What? Wow. You sure. All right. I mean, cut, when the, when cut yeah. two. Cut two. Yeah. Cut yeah. two. <laughs> Billboard chart. Yeah. No. Cut two. Behind behind the it. music. <laughs> right. She she was a <laughs> she was an up and coming <laughs> rap artist. I can't do that. She guy's signed voice. the worst deal in recording history. He can have all of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. Let's try one more real quick, just to Wait, see what. what? No. You, gotta, you gotta pick different subject matter. Yeah. Different subject matter. Hold oh on. my god. Here we go. Ready? Oh, give it a second to kick in. Yeah, here it comes. Catch it on the catch it on the on the hook. Here we go. Suck on this wiener. Suck this wiener. Suck on my uh, wiener. Suck my wiener. Suck it dry. Suck it dry. Suck on this wiener right now. Suck. On that. All right. Okay. Good work. Good I don't work. Know. Good work. Yeah. No, no, no. Listen. Don't don't get self conscious. You, okay. You're onto something strong here. No more, please. Okay, no more. We're done. <laughs> we're done. We're done for now. But but I gotta say, okay. you, you know, don't, don't color uh, us impressed. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, you 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 pretty much proved yourself to me. Do thank you. Quit your day job. Yeah. Do it. Quit. Right, your, okay. Quit your day it's, job now. now. Mm-hmm. Immediately. Call your boss and put your two weeks in okay. right now. Okay, right now. Let's quit. Um. Quit. So and make that the video. You you like the beginning of the video like a slow push into like a like a Wendy's. I yeah. will tell you knock, a hit- knock knock knock. Excuse me, Mister <laughs> Stewart. <laughs> I'm sick of making frosties. I quit. You can't quit. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. And, dick, then, dick. and then his jaw yeah, drops. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Just dollar signs <laughs> pop into his eyes. Oh wow. Why don't we talk about what your thoughts were about Jackie? Not being here, and Dan's we said we'd thoughts. save it for the. Yeah, let's. W- w- what, what are you? you I ask have, us. I have, have nothing but questions. All right, need to address it. We have questions. The too. audience is wants answers. Question number one. All right, let's hear it. Where's Jackie? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> where, oh, where, oh, where is Jackie? That's a good question. Anyone know the answer to that? Uh, Ryan, I have a theory. All right, she's in a dark, dark hole. Of of depression, she listening to Lady misery. Gaga music with Runny Mascara, and, and couple that with the fact that 
you know, we don't, we're, we're, we're a burden in her life. She doesn't get anything out of coming here to Studio City to sit with us for two hours. But I thought she was having a healthy relationship with the fans, and uh, I, I over the over the uh, thirty-five podcast episodes, I I, th- I thought I was listening to her grow and and, mm-hmm. and 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 be happy and find. I thought I thought for all three of you, this was a a, a good thing, a mothership that had landed on the White House lawn that that had brought the the various cancer cures and uh, hover <laughs> hoverboards that you needed. Yeah. It was for me. It is for me. I think it hey, is for Justin, huh? but I guess it's oh, that? there it is. Huh? I'm doing it right. <laughs> Clatu, Niptu. Now we Thoratu. bring you the cures of AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there's a side effect. We bring you a creative uh, pursuit that gives you satisfaction. Uh, so what happened? Spaceship. Oh, so she, yeah, it's like Ryan said. She, she just, I, we get the impression that she's not really getting much out of the show. Yeah. So she's. You know, it's a burden for her to come here. She's very busy. She quit. Well, she didn't quit. She quit in the weakest way possible. She she she, she said, "Let's spend some time apart." <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's exactly. like in a relationship. It's not over. Yeah. We're taking Let's a, take break. a break. <laughs> yeah. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. We're taking a break. And then you're gonna hear her on another podcast <laughs> yeah. on Friday night. And it's called Gone Riffin with Rich Vulture and Abed Gates. It's yeah. called Two Handsome Men. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and a, and a lady they appreciate. Yeah. I I I think you know. I mean, I I, I know that she'll be back. <laughs> You know, she'll be on the show in future installments. I just, she's not going to be on every episode like she used to be. It's going to mm-hmm. sort of be the sporadic, you know, whenever we can either entice her with a great celebrity guest or, <laughs> uh, or, you know, beg her or, you know, Ryan and I discussed actually going to her house one day and, you know, dragging her out of her. I don't know what the fuck I, she does. I, I, I'd rather find a replacement. I, well, does that sound like a healthy relationship? No, she sounds beleaguered by yeah. you guys. Yeah, I'm but not, I, I don't I'm wanna... not necessarily not on her side yeah. in that. I don't want to give what? up on her. She's just she's in a really depressed place, no, and I know course. what that's like. I wouldn't want to force her to do this if it doesn't make her happy. But what do you mean you're not on? I, I'm I'm only qualifying that because the easiest thing in the world would be for me to to. She's the only person on this podcast that's not an old friend of mine uh-huh. from Channel 101. Yeah, she's also a girl. I'm a misogynist. <laughs> Uh, and uh, you're preemptively and, so. Believe me, the easiest thing in the world. Oh, here's a third factor. I'm clearly replacing her. <laughs> well, on her, this episode, uh, no. I mean, this is <laughs> this is permanent. Believe me, I, I see the switchboard blinking already, <laughs> and it's all pinks and purple colors. Uh, and yeah. no, there's no reds. That's on odd. That there's switchboard. no pink and purple bulbs in that board. No, it's what's crazy is there's a ton of red bulbs in the uh, in the in the, in the bulb and. <laughs> <laughs> there's a ton of there's a ton of different color bulbs in there, and they measure uh-huh. the intent of the oh. person calling. Are there any karate bulbs? <laughs> yeah, I think there's someone calling that that line right now. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hey. Hey, karate. Hey, can I can I take this call now that I'm the <laughs> new yeah. Jackie? Uh, why not? You want to talk about Jackie? Jackie's allowed to take calls. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, hi. Uh, you're caller number one. You're uh, on the on hello. the karate line. Hello. I like this show so much better now that you talk about karate. <laughs> What, have we? I mean, the weird thing is we only started no, talking I, about karate because you called. I called the karate line. Yeah. I called the karate line. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this the karate? Yeah. Wait, what was the number you dialed? 1-800-KARATE! <laughs> right. I got to tell you, there's a fine line between anywhere. karate and a prairie dog. It just sounds like a western. It sounds like an old... Oh, it does. Yeah. Like a... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Ennio Morricone's uh, one of his singers. All right, so uh, so Jackie got sick of you guys. The mm-hmm. only reason I said I could be on her side is just I was trying to counterbalance the natural. Yeah. Uh, oh, I've got nothing bad to say about yeah, her. Yeah, no, I mean I, I miss her. I, I, she's a friend. I, I, I'm. I, I don't. I try to invite her to hang out. I, I've been trying. I, every time I do something, which is rare, I invite Jackie. Because I'm trying to make an effort to be friends with her outside of this show. I don't want her to think the only time I ever talk to her or bug her is when we want to record an episode. She blended but, your energies well. Yeah. No one wants to listen to three nasal, <laughs> dorky, yeah. Tell me about half it. drunk guys. Yeah. yeah. This is like the man show with an extra kibble. I know. Yeah. I know. I'm worried about it. No, I, no. Don't worry about it. Who cares? It'll be fine. Well, I mean, I care, but it's like, you know, what are we going to do? Beat ourselves up all day about what's it? What's something with three ingredients? I wanted to say peanut butter and jelly. With uh, s'mores. Jelly. 
Peanut butter and jelly without the bread? No, fucking That's s'mores, a... dipshit. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, chocolate, s'mores marshmallows, without... and fucking uh, graham crackers. Well, I'm the graham cracker. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> what am I then? I guess marshmallow. The... Am I? Yeah. No. No, I gotta be the chocolate. The chocolate? Yeah. And some Jackie. So it's just a fucking. No, that is a really good analogy crapper, because cracker. Jackie is the marshmallow. Some people hate marshmallows, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Everybody loves chocolate, though. <laughs> if you're just tuning in. <laughs> We can't decide what they used to be. Okay, here's a here's a question I was thinking of on the way over here. Dan, you 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 write a show with characters in it. Huh. How do, is it still the same show if one of the major characters is gone? Uh, if oh, one of them is gone, mm-hmm. probably. Like what? What if Joel McHale was gone? If Joel McHale was gone, that would be a big old uh, divot in the yeah. in the fairway there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be. That That's be, when you that call Kirstie weird. Alley. I don't think that I don't think that my show with its 1.5 rating uh, and sort of uh, experimental template there's there's not there's not enough. I don't think we could sustain that not mm-hmm. at all because it would just be too. Even if even if even if he was not the reason you were tuning in, I think it would just be too different too soon. Well, who's Jackie in this? And you could say that Jackie is equivalent of two of your characters if if you don't feel like she's there's a one to one ratio there. But I need to figure out how you would solve this problem. Well, I mean, to me, the Jackie would be like the Chevy Chase, or uh, in that um, I'm hoping it can work without her. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you, are you, is this, are you telling us something here? No, no. (laughs) No. I'm just, I'm just just clawing at any laugh near the edge of the pool. (laughs) Wait a minute. What are you suggesting? Come on, Ryan. (laughs) You're suggesting there's there's been no laughs so far? No, no, no. It's self deprecation. It's not, it's not, I'm I'm, I'm never going to, in my, I don't hear that sound if there's not been a laugh. In my new job as permanent third host of this show, I'm never going to drag the show down Uh uh, with my self deprecation. I'm going to be kind of hard on myself. Okay, I get it. I'm always going to be second guessing myself. Like right now, my mind is racing. Uh, will they? Um, will they let me sit in Jackie's chair next uh, week? <laughs> yeah, because you're not in Jackie's chair. You're in the guest chair. Yeah. yeah. Jackie's chair remains like Elijah's chair. What if um, empty? What if? What if? What if my hilarious stories that I share during this hour are only? Uh, what if they don't beat the record held by my the first time I was on? Oh, don't worry about mm. that kind of stuff. <laughs> Don't you even worry. I've well, got this a, is a whole I've new... Got, I've got the whole show plotted out. Ooh. There's are no... We, well, where are we right now, Justin? Whoa. Maestro? We're still in the beginning. <laughs> now, all of this is going to be edited out, because we got to figure out how to... <clears throat> Here's the thing. No, no, no. We'll Here's be Here's my fine. prediction as, yeah. a, as, a, as a misogynist. This is going to be the first episode that Jackie's actually going to listen to. You think so? Yeah. Because, because we're she, talking about her. Well, yeah, because you're, you're guaranteed to be talking about her, her absence of... Uh, if I were her, and I were a narcissist... Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And uh, I, I would, I would be, I would tune in to make sure that my absence was felt. Oh, she's so, been on. She's. We've done an episode without her. Yeah. 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 I know. I. I but we I, didn't really talk about her at all. Hmm. I think. I think this is the one where we're. And we're, it killed her. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and she came back. So. Well, no. I mean, to be fair, she's not doing this with any ounce of, uh, you know. Um, What's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, Malice, uh, animosity, or yeah, like, like this isn't a decision she's she's made because she's angry and she's she's being passive aggressive. She she's just really bummed out right now, and, and I, she I, really I, doesn't give a shit about anything. Yeah, anything. Like she doesn't care about anything, not just the show. I mean, it's. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know how much I can talk about it. I've been there. Yeah, I have two. I have two. But you know what I did? I started a fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. You'd think it would help, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, well, I guess maybe she, yeah, she's got to start her own. She can't just uh, start yeah. her it would own. Be, it, would, it would be like, um, to, to flip things around, it would be like if she was getting fucked by a ghost mm-hmm. yeah. and Ryan just got to watch, like, and, and it was, that was supposed to cheer him up. Uh-huh. Like, that's her it thing. Would, that would make me pretty happy. To for, watch that. For, for those of you frequent listeners, <laughs> it would change my life. Wait, you're 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 trying to weave in the yeah, narrative yeah. of her and I's sexual tension and her wanting to fuck a ghost. <laughs> no, I was just I was just doing a call back to the ghost thing. Oh. I guess. Well, that maybe that's what she's been up to. Did you guys have sexual tension? Oh, damn, like a little bit. <sighs> Not a lot. Like though. Britta and Je- Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> What did you forget the character? I, I was. I wanted to say Joel. It's confusing. <sighs> All right. 
let's get the show rolling here. Yeah, yeah. Edit all of this out <laughs> because this is this was the point that I was gonna make. Just make it your goal to blow her mind. And the listeners, when they tune in, her and and the rest of them, uh, Jimmy Chun, whatever, what's his name, uh, David Wong, yeah, um, Charlie, Wang. Charlie, Charlie Wang, Charlie uh-huh. Wang, which which I've got something I was today close. to talk about. This. Charlie, Char- Char- here. Charlie, if you're out there, call the karate line. Uh, yeah. Call it in. The one eight hundred karate. Stupid. That's fucking just, dumb. Just just let's just make it our goal to blow their minds uh-huh. with the facility with the <laughs> with the grace with uh-huh. the with the just the, the charm uh-huh. the uh savoir faire yeah well let's kick it off right now and i am predicting that in post i'm going to put some sort of heavy metal riff that's going to end this segment and kick off into the actual no, 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 official no, no. no i'm not changing the music all right well let's let's just begin the show I, I think this is an interesting discussion we can have, and I think it's I think it's important for you, Ryan. And I'm glad Dan's here because I think his input on this. Do you mind if I take my shirt off? I don't care. It is so hot in here. I'm not. We're I'm recording not, this on Fourth of July weekend. I'm not going to be aroused by your naked chest because I don't swing that way. Not that there's anything I wrong with I'd it. I figured I'd be at a pool party anyway. And Jesus, it's fucking hot. Shirtless. I just want to let all the listeners know it's really hot in this room. So that's the that's and just Dan so you know. and Dan is in his pajamas. all right. So listen to me. This is this is I want to know your I want to know what you think of this, Ryan. Okay. So uh, I can't tell you how many times I've been in a grocery store, and Ryan, <laughs> you've been in a grocery store. It's an infomercial. And you're shopping, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and you see the most beautiful woman you've ever seen in oh, your life. Oh God, yeah. And you're like, okay, I'm in a fucking grocery store. I'm buying, you know, what am I buying? Stovetop stuffing and. <laughs> Fucking chicken. Strips well, that's your or first problem. You want to be buying like d- dick shrinkener, <laughs> <laughs> and, and then there's a guy on the cover that's going dick too big. <laughs> yeah, you're right. try this. It's not yeah. guaranteed to work. Yeah. And you're just uh, in the in the aisle, just shrugging at everyone. Uh-huh. Like like I don't know. I, 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 at this point, I'm, a, I, I'm I'm out of out of options. I'll try anything. Um, so the problem that I I've, I've had is how the fuck do you go from you know, this isolated shopping experience where it's very, you know, you don't want to talk to anybody, especially in L.A. People are very guarded and mm-hmm. they have their walls up. In L.A., it's like sometimes you feel like you just have to crash Yeah, how the other. fuck do you, how the fuck do you approach a girl and actually, you know, cross the threshold of anything more than just a casual, you know, brief moment of interaction anything more than that like how do you even get to that okay well he, i have <laughs> how a, do you even get to the brief I, moment I, ha- of I have what i think might be a pretty fail proof solution to the okay. i haven't tested oh. it but i'm curious to see if you guys think all right you know and depending on how it's delivered so this is what i think might work and 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 uh you're in a grocery store you're in a grocery store you see right? a beautiful woman all alone. beautiful woman Right, and and you have to sort of plan it right. You have to push your cart. You know, you can't look like. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, is it necessary to have a cart? Can you just have? Oh, one you can of those? have a basket. Okay. Sure, or or nothing at all. But uh-huh. that's a little weird. You want to at least have the intent. Like I'm here to shop. I'm not here <laughs> to hang out. Just to hang out. Just a women. box of dick shrinking. <laughs> yeah. That's I want to make. You came I want to make it's an emergency. A, how great would it be to make in Photoshop <laughs> like a gag. and like print it? Yeah, and just sort of carry it around. Put it has a price tag on it and everything. Uh, no, you go up to the girl, and, and, and you and you have to really commit to this, and no, and in your mind feel like it's true. You got to go up to her, and you have, you have to go. I'm so sorry, but are you friends with Michael Smith? <laughs> Michael do you, Smith. Do you, yeah. Do you know Michael Smith? The Michael Smith. It's just a generic Justin. Oh, name. oh, yeah. oh, God! I thought I thought I was like, wait, is yeah. he famous for killing his children? <laughs> no. So let's try it. Ready? That's Susan. Smith. You be the girl. <laughs> wait a minute. Ready? You be the girl. Or actually, I'll be the girl. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm shopping. Is this a real? You really want? You really think this will work? Maybe try it. Let me hear. How, let me hear your delivery. Where, where, I need to know where you're at. Where are you at? Produce? I'm. Uh, I'm in the uh, produce section. I'm buying apples. But don't <laughs> use that. Okay. Just okay. stick to the okay. fucking line. Oh god, look at that girl. Here we She's go. Just my type. Long hair, vaguely ethnic looking. Long dark hair, vaguely ethnic. Looking. Jesus. Okay, I gotta go say something. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yes. Hi. I know this is weird. Are you? Are you friends with Michael Smith by any chance? Nice try, dick face. No, you didn't deliver it properly. <laughs> You're too hesitant. You're questioning yourself right at the gate. I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you, but jeez, uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> you have to here, dude. You be the girl. Okay. Ready? Wait, that okay? Fine. That that would that would it would warrant a nice try, dick face. Okay. Well, I was harsh. a little harsh. Thank I'll you. be the girl. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I'll do it again. Do it one right. more time. Go ahead. 
Lose the lose all the build up. No, no, I'm the girl. Oh, sorry. Lose. The, just <laughs> was, get right to the was, question. Okay, go ahead. Uh, hey, are you friends with Michael Smith? No, I, I'm, I don't. I, I don't know anyone named Michael Smith. Come on, now you're in a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a conversation now. Are you the girl? Yeah, I'm the girl. I just didn't put on a girl voice. All right, fine, fine. I know I'm in a conversation, miss. Uh, so, uh, God. Um, oh no, I wasn't the girl then. Oh, okay, when I said that. it's confusing. Yeah. Okay, well, let's start over. Excuse me. Do you know Michael Smith? No, I don't know anyone named Michael Smith. Are you sure? You really look like a mutual friend of <laughs> mine and Michael Smith. You don't say. Are you, Are you sure? sure? No. Okay. Look. You're not doing this right. All right, here's, I get it, I get it. Here's my theory. Do- my see, theory I, is this. You're, you're uh, scrambling their radar <laughs> yeah. because the radar is designed to block <laughs> missiles uh, and uh, uh, detect UFOs and stuff. Uh, if somebody spills coffee on it, yeah, then you're 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 not you're out of defense mode. Exactly. So you go you're 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 making a mistake. Like you're confounding. Like you're 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 going. You're taking the Ralph Nader of this election yeah. instead of the yes. things that they're <laughs> yes. voting between. Either this guy's gonna hit on me or he's approaching me for a legitimate reason. No, he's making a huge fuck up. But there's a fine line between this. You realize on the face of it. Sure. And, Let's hear and, it. And. and, and haven't I? Don't I know you from somewhere? That's what Ryan's. That's that's what Ryan's oh, not so understanding. You wanna, yeah, you're saying very elegantly. You need to put this person in a position where they actually feel like like a, a, a mutual a, a friend. Mis- a mistake is being made. Well, also, also, you're but also they don't understand what's going on. You're also now, if you do it right, you're approaching this girl no longer as I want to hit on this girl or I have some ulterior motive. Now you're going up to her because you <coughs> genuinely, if you can pull it off, yeah, th- that's think the key. You've seen her with your friend Michael Smith, and feel free to replace that name with any name. <laughs> well, you can feel. I try one? Let me yeah, try yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, you. I'm you, the girl. You, you, yeah, you're okay. the girl. Uh, uh, it's the, uh, it's the green car. It's, there's, there's five of them in the, uh, anytime you, anytime uh, you want, just grab one. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not sure what you mean. I'm sorry, you, you're not the, you, you were the one that was talking to, uh, Michael about the, uh, oh god, oh Jesus, I'm sorry. Security! I'm Someone sorry. help me! Wait, you, you know what? Help you me! No, you... baby, 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 whoa. Hey. He's touching my vagina. No, yeah, just He's let me... touching my vagina. No, this makes sense. It's part of the green car contest. Oh. Yeah. No, that's too weird. Wait a minute. I don't understand. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're, 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 that, that sounds like you're an employee uh, of or... the grocery store who thinks that you're going back to tell a customer what Michael Smith had been I thought re- that researching. Was the point. I thought you were No, no, no. Who you the don't fuck wanna... is Michael Smith? <laughs> no. I, guess, I, thought the point, I, no. thought, I thought the point was to lie to a poor woman. No. Wait, what and, was going and, on and in your scenario? Her. What was going no. on? Was I don't know. That's the point. Here's was, the thing. Uh, what is the green car? I don't know. I was trying to scramble her there... brain. I thought that's the point. No, I no, we no. Were, I thought we were human centipeding this woman's no. uh, you, what you uh, just social did... uh, buffer, which is there for a reason, by the way. What you just did was you... To prevent this kind of scheme. You risked making the girl worry for a moment that you might be a crazy person which yeah, is okay, not all right when you go up to a girl and you say uh the green green cart's right over there the one we were talking about so, well, well, then maybe if i compensated by that by wearing like a, a nice like an suit or, okay. or, and, I, and i was clean shaven yeah. and Appearances. i worked out and I was, this is just like your dad's list of how to pick up women well, and where mm-hmm. and, and the last item was uh be attractive and rich yeah yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm like yeah no shit sherlock <laughs> well, no like, but there's there's somewhere in the middle you can't be completely nonsensical what Justin is saying is, well, listen. Can I try it one more time? No, because let me just say this to you, and this is why I think this would work if you do it right. <coughs> this is this might be the best advice for finding a wife in the world, because first of all, a woman at a grocery store, you know, she, the odds that she's going to be crazy are, you know, what they're they're just significantly low. reduced. I mean, she's out there. Bu- oh, I thought you were going to say maximized because she's out <laughs> oh, there no, no, buying no. her own food. I mean, what's wrong with this bitch? Well. I mean, that's what I think is a good thing, right? <laughs> but here's the thing: if you go up to her and you say, "Are you friends with Mike? Or do, or do you, are you do you hang out with Michael Smith? Or do you know Michael Smith? Whatever." There's a way to do it right. That just sounds so scary to me. Okay, well, hold on. Here's the thing: I want, she's I want, gonna I want... she's gonna obviously right away think, "Oh no." Maybe you're right. I Fuck. want this scenario to end it with the girl. Scary to me. It sounds like the verbal equivalent <laughs> of saying, "Can you? Will you come inside my van? Do you know yeah. Michael Smith?" Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, no, I don't. He sounds like a, that. Sounds like an alias. Do for you a, know? Ra- uh, rapist well, can we see? Do you know Michael would Smith? Here's, how, here's, well, here's just change the last name to something <laughs> something a little like Polish. Jenkins. Or something. Like, like, can like, you be the guy? Give me last name. Do you know? Do you know Michael Lipnicki? <laughs> okay. Per- uh, well, are you friends with Michael Lipnicki? Well, they're gonna think Jonathan Lipnicki, the oh, child okay. actor. Oh, oh, okay. I just want the well, scenario. To, LA, so I maybe. want the scenario to end with the girl turning towards you uh, and saying, "Excuse me," and she has a package of, of vagina loosener. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> as if they need that. It's just too I mean, darn I, I mean, as tight. if they need that package. They don't need that that visual cue. Like men, 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 men are, don't care. Um, the, the, T- titty, titty defermanizer. Yeah, like like a, a guy needs any more reason. Here's the thing about this is this is the thing. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh. uh Justin, what you said was the worst that can happen is she gets, she gives you, she rejects you. Yeah, and the yeah, best yeah. that can happen is yeah. she's fooled because she, but she might think you're cute. If she, <laughs> that's why all you have to do is be, be, oh, well, I mean, easier said than done. I'm not I know saying... it's a terrifying thing, but, but, but women are, they, they get to pick anyway. Yeah. And it always is just based on whether or not they, they look yeah, at you, yeah. they smell you, whatever the hell they do. I don't know. None of us know. But they, they're like, like so many guys. That are that are that are right for the the girl at hand get away with so much dumb shit yeah. because they're right for the girl at hand and then so many guys who come up with the most brilliant thing in the world like they they're not they don't get anywhere because women they that's up that, that's their it's their smoke detector we're operating on they're, yeah. and their job is to be mysterious about it I because just if want they, if some they, if, sort of cheat code if you could open that paint can with a screwdriver we would have done it a million years ago well isn't that this yeah. whole thing the game all these guys that supposedly I'm not have reading some that. sort of some sort of the, the, you, you do Listen, the nags I've got a game it's that. called do you know michael smith <laughs> That's the game. Let me try one. Okay. This is, because this is what it Justin all comes down to. Justin, I'm cover of this book. It's, do you know Michael, you know Michael Smith? Smith. <laughs> it's just the, the same. foolproof way to meet women anywhere, 800 anytime. pages. Let's try it this way. Okay. Both right. of you, both of you be women. Both of Ooh. you are, one at a are time? looking Hello. at No, at the same together. time. You're there together. Okay. okay. So we're no, 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 I'm sorry. You don't know each other. Got it. Okay? We're just you're looking at apples. To each other. You're looking at uh Are onions. we both attractive women? Yes. And you're a guy? You're a redhead, and you're like a- Me, I'm- you're both redheads. Okay, Ground rules okay. here: no, no disparaging the mentally handicapped. I'm going to be a taller. No matter redhead. what happens in this, you're a little taller. A little yeah, taller. You're kind of like you've got some firm, sort of an athletic like sort of body. anti di- anti gravity breasts are perfectly. Uh-huh. You know, yeah. what do my breasts look like? You're very, you're, you're they're more buxom and. Uh, Wait a minute. No, I want mine to be. You've got kind of an hour. Mine are going to be I'll bigger take than pert his. Ones. Okay, fine, whatever. But both of you are, uh, yeah, just just Attractive. drop dead gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Okay. redhead women. And it's just a coincidence that we're at. Separate at the grocery store. Let me ask you a question. Was I always gorgeous, or was this like, was I fat and then I sort of got fit? You were fat in high school. Oh, okay. So then. Are we natural beauties? And then you just got smoking hot at 19. Okay, got it. Are we natural beauties? Or am I wearing a lot of makeup? Am I kind of done up? Can Ryan have been always hot? But, uh, That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan was always hot. You're both Ryan. Uh, between the two of you, you're more uh, made up. Yeah. You're more the made yeah, yeah, up yeah. type because. That's the sense I get. Uh, but 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 uh, Justin is the kind of like uh, you know doesn't need as much makeup. Kind yeah. of uh, uh, natural beauty. naturally ruddy cheeks. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, just. I feel like I'm more morning. womanly. I All feel right. Like okay. I'm, okay. We've got it. Okay. Yeah. I know what I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> I'm coming up to both of you. Okay. okay. All right. And uh, all right. <clears throat> Ladies, oh, hey, hi, hello. Do hello. either of you know anybody that I know? Michael Smith. I'm gonna start with. I know a Mike Smith. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm actually not sure. I mean, I'm. You know, they do say you can. You're everyone's seven people away from everyone else, so there is a possibility. Okay, because I'm. I'm just over there on the other side of the produce section. I'm buying potatoes. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. And I'm looking over here, and I'm looking, and I'm just seeing two hot fucking chicks, and I'm thinking, <laughs> "Oh, you're so, you're so what a silly. waste! What a waste of, of 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 me and these potatoes! Why don't the three of us just go watch Thor at yes? I'm waiting for it at the nearest low budget cinema because." Okay. I'm gonna be brutally honest, and that's you'll find that's one of my gimmicks. I'm between work right now, uh huh, and uh, my my former job was the pluralization of words. You like, had me at Thor. Th- no, you had me at hello, ladies, because I like your smell. You had me at Michael Smith. I like the way you look. He's a friend of mine, and any friend of Michael and Smith also, is a friend of mine. And also, excuse me, other redheaded woman. <laughs> No, who don't. sounds like a man. Also, I happen to, I was fat, and nobody looked at me, so I have a complex where I'm very friendly, but I'm very beautiful, Well, yeah. and 
I just <laughs> I, I I still perceive myself as a fat girl. Right. That no guys like. Me too. Well, good for so you. So I'm ready to go with you to see okay, Thor. Well, good for you, but guess what? I didn't need some sort of complicated backstory. I was born beautiful, and I'm still beautiful. Right. But I've also backstory. always been incredibly kind and open to everyone. So. Yes, I'll join you in Thor, uh, to see Thor's. Well, right, so and I don't care how much money you well, make. Well, you know what, girlfriend? You're going to have to try extra hard if we're both going with him to see Thor. Because I'm... I think I have the more natural beauty. Ladies, I don't want either of you to make any mistake about I just this hope we judge this based on personality anyway. You're so. both going to have to try extra hard because there's two of you. Oh, well, I already know well, I'm, Mike Smith. So. I've, I always have to try extra hard because I was. I still feel like I'm a fat girl, but I, I'm not. Yeah, but I usually I've been with a thousand women that used to be fat. So oh, you know, well that makes me feel better. You know, sweep me off. That my makes feet. me feel worse. Knock, 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 Excuse knock, me. knock my shoes off. I just <laughs> have one question: What are we gonna do with all these all these potatoes? <laughs> 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 Stupid, fucking. Ridiculous. <laughs> Amy, you were at Comic Con. Yes, you, I was. Can you can you take us through a? a Amy, be a, yourself. Be don't yourself. try to. Don't try to. Oh. You're trying so hard to not just relax. R- reveal your true personality. No, I'm not. Okay, I went to Comic Con. Um, I showed up on Friday, and it, I was with my friend Heather. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Is it fair to say that Heather is an attractive woman? She's the hottest friend, yeah, that I that I have. Is well, she, is she, she the say. hottest? I have a lot of hot friends. Which oh, is very you hear that, hot. Amy's other friends listening? <laughs> all right, boy, you're gonna have to deal with some <laughs> oh, no. hurt feelings. My friends are all hot, but she's super hot. Mm-hmm. Jesus I don't know. Christ, Amy Rowland, do you feel that you have to be friends with attractive women because somehow it validates you? No, right. I just have hot okay. friends. Sorry, I don't mean to make this. Are 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 girls who are hot? Do they? Is there something about them? collectively that that makes them better friends are hot women is there a trait or a mm-hmm. gene that is present alongside being hot that may, that that is a reason psychologically that you find yourself gravitated towards being friends with them or is are you just attracted to people who are attractive yeah why do you like to hang out with hot chicks so i don't know maybe i just am attracted to cool hot girls i i i, I, I <laughs> I'm in the business of acting, so I'm around hot chicks. Hey, you're in the business mm-hmm. of bodies. Business of bodies, basically. The business of meat peddling. Exactly. The business of looks. Uh-huh. Exactly. The business <laughs> of superficiality. Yeah, so I'm do you have any, hot girls. Do you have any hot girlfriends that have a pill problem? Pill Not problem. that I can you know, think I just, of. I'm just uh, every, uh-huh. you know, 90210. Yeah, I that's mean, true. Every, yeah. Degrassi. You know, every show, there's <laughs> yeah. one, one of the hot girls has, has a pill problem at None one point. None of my friends. No, so, you, so is it fair to say that that storyline is fairly uh, unrealistic? Pretty much, yeah. Are all your friends yeah. sluts? You know, some are. Yeah. And some aren't. <laughs> all right, one. Well, can you list the ones that are and with <laughs> no. their phone numbers, please? <laughs> no. Just kidding. Um, so yeah, uh, so Comic Con. So you're at Comic Con. The first here's the first thing I want to know about your Comic Con experience. Not too dissimilar from my Comic Con experience in that the first night you got there, mm-hmm. um, you found yourself incredibly drunk. Oh yeah. How drunk were you? Way drunk. I hardly remember a lot of Justin it. Justin drunk. I think. How she do might you behave? Yeah. How do you behave? How does she behave? Is she like you, Justin? She's like me. Really? Yeah. What? I yeah. don't know. I'm... Yeah, you are. Oh, maybe I you don't. You turn know. into a fucking lunatic. I think it runs Does in the family. Does she break shit? Does she break shit and like? Oh, sure, yeah. Listen, no, when, I... when 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 you get when 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 a, when a Royland gets that drunk, <laughs> uh, I you know I don't know actually. You I, know I, I, I don't, don't act as crazy as you. You he acts nuts. Uh huh. Like that Saturday, he acts <laughs> nuts. Uh-huh. Yeah, but you you don't you know you say that being you know, you know a sober you say that being a sober bystander. It's easy to say, but. How do you know you? It weren't- depends on who I'm around. Like I was at a really big party with a lot of celebrities, so I'm not going to be like, woo, woo, like uh-huh. they would have been like, what the? Okay, so, so I was ew. really drunk, was but I was party? holding yeah, can, it. Take us through the night. What what was the when you first got there? You you had a few drinks. Uh, went- I went into um, Heather Tonkini has a lot of celebrity friends, and she hooked us close up close personal people that she can rely on in hard times. Well, basically, yeah. you know, <laughs> that would come to her aid. <laughs> people that'll help her move, drive her to the airport. Uh-huh. Yeah, basically. Okay. So uh, right. uh, there's a, a show called Chuck, and we're friends with the main actor Zach Levi, and then we're, and then she's really good friends with this guy Vic. I don't know his last name, but he's another 
other guy on the show. He's an Indian guy. You think uh-huh. Vic would well, be there for her if she was in the hospital? Yeah, and yeah I do. I actually do. With yes, no, I do. With no more hair and burns all over yeah. her body. Well, Missing a leg. Not. Maybe not, actually. Missing a leg and a nose. So, <laughs> so he gets us into this party. He comes downstairs, and we're, like, waiting out there. And he's, like, talking to the publicist to try to get us in, you know, to the party. And the publicist is like, all you want to do is have sex with these two girls. You just want to. And that really tipped Heather off for the rest of the night. She was just in a pissed off mood. Just really angry. This cold, hard reality came, uh, <laughs> came face to face with old Heather that night. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's how yeah. the world works, my dear. Yeah, wow, definitely. That was a, yeah. yeah. No, he, he, just, he just wants to hang with you to, to uh, talk uh, about the Arab Spring. Yeah, exactly. The revolution <gasps> going on. Yeah, that right thought now. would have never crossed this young, straight, attractive <laughs> movie star's mind ever to sleep with these two young girls, these two young, attractive. <laughs> Girls, never. <laughs> I'm angry. No, yeah. I, I think. I Wait, who's that so. guy? Who's talking right now? That's like the the self righteous, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, confused. I didn't even notice her C cup plus breasts <laughs> yeah. billowing out of that tight red mini skirt <laughs> dress. <laughs> How dare you? How sir? dare you? I would never. I'm a young, virile, <laughs> wealthy movie star with with wow. a moral mind. <laughs> yeah. With the pick of the litter. Okay. The women t- throwing themselves at me and trying to get into parties drunk all day. And I don't take advantage it of it ever. Nor would I. <laughs> Okay, anyways, so the anyways, lady... Anyways, so we get oh, in... Wait, 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 wait. wait. T- back up. The, what did the lady say specifically? Can you try to remember as clearly as you can what she said to, to, to this guy? She's just like, um, Vic, you just want to sleep with them. That's the only reason you want them to come up. You you just want... She's saying you this just in front of you? Get, oh, yeah, in front of us. <laughs> and That's I don't care. Demeaning. I'm like, whatever. Mm-hmm. I didn't care. Don't let it ruin my night. And mm-hmm. then, But Heather got all angry and like... Mm. Well, to be fair, Heather's not here to speak for herself, so... Okay, you know. okay, okay. But it did ruin her night. Mm-hmm. So then we... Uh, and what is this guy's name again? Vic something. Wait a minute. This, we can't be... Can well, we? no, no. I mean, well, oh, I mean yeah. it, you know, he's, it is what it is. He didn't part, do anything he wrong. He didn't do anything. He, just, he didn't he's, do anything. He's, he's the, I mean, for, he's all we know, he, for all we know, this, this, this lady who chastised him could be fucking crazy. We don't know who she or is. Or in love with him. Nuts. There you go. There you she go. Have yeah. an ulterior motive. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and he's on Chuck, you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, the Indian what, what actor. The Indi- I've never seen the show, but okay. Well, I haven't really either. So, <laughs> Somehow it's gone nine seasons, but okay. So, so he manages yeah. to dismantle the, the troll and get you guys through yeah, the gates. Yeah, he got us gates. through. She just said, fine, fine, go, go. I don't even uh-huh. want to see I don't care. I just don't want to see your dick going into any of those vaginas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you do it, do exactly. it somewhere where I don't, I don't see it. <laughs> exactly. All right. So we go up there and I'm like standing around. It's open bar. So I think I actually had like nine hard alcohol drinks and uh-huh. shots. What were you drinking? Uh, vodka Red Bull, vodka oh soda, my God. Vodka, vodka Red Bull is a shots see. of whiskey. Ooh, I don't, boy, I was just going nuts. We're, so you're just mixing every liquor that that under the sun. Well, you know, as you go, and then you're like, you just don't know what you're. Were you doing. just immediately? You and Heather immediately swarmed by other ancillary characters from low rated network TV shows. Yeah. Dom DeLuise. Um, no, no. We no, were just hanging dead. hanging around. I don't know, hanging out. Uh, it was cool. Oh, they so had a no. photo booth there uh-huh. where you go in, and it's it's the Nerd HQ. It's the Nerd HQ party. Uh-huh. What does that mean? It's like uh, Zach Levi's thing, Nerd HQ. I don't mm-hmm. know. It's Zach like, uh, Levi being the, the, the guy who plays Chuck, right? Right, right. The titular <laughs> character on the show. Exactly. So it's like it's his not, It sounds thing. like a real nerd headquarters. Yeah. It, that's what it is, a nerd open headquarters. Bar. It is a nerd. I know, yeah, I know. Bar, I know. Hot chicks. Yeah. And, right, and, right. And uh, <laughs> j- the, the, these strapping Hollywood hunks. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm sure right. real nerds, if they were to show up, they would have not been in let this in. Corner, there's well, they were below. Whether cold fusion is possible. Yeah. yeah. Um. Did, does anyone see my pocket protector? <laughs> well, the real nerds were below us. We uh-huh. were above in, the, in another part. Oh, so this was like uh. the nerd headquarters cool section. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. No <laughs> real nerds allowed. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Okay. That's I true. see, by the way, your sister is wearing a Lego Star Wars shirt. Yes, yeah. I am. Mm-hmm. Well done. It looks yeah. good. Thank you. It might be worth money someday, so don't wash it too many times. <laughs> Make sure you fold it and don't hang it up. Exactly. Um, okay, so go on. Um, so they have like a photo booth. It's like a black and white pictures they take of you, and you go in this photo booth, and you take pictures, and then the pictures get printed out, but they also they have tons of screens everywhere. So you can look at the screens and see what hot girl or hot guy is at the party or who is at the party. Mm-hmm. So I'm sitting there, I look at the screen, and I see a, f- a few different celebrities are there, and I'm like, oh, who? okay, cool. Oh, you don't well, want to say? I can, can you name a couple? Uh, Seth Green, Ryder Strong. 
I don't Rider know. Rider Strong? I don't yeah, know yeah. Who Boy that Meets is. World. Boy Meets World. Oh, I don't sure. know what that is. Well, anyway, Still. Kevin Fever. I was uh-huh. excited anyway. So, wait, 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 wait. You're saying that the photo booth was hardwired connected to monitors around the yeah. party. So, when you went in the photo booth to get pictures, it right. automatically broadcast mm-hmm. those? Oh, that's yeah, kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was smart. awesome. Yeah. That's, it, it, you know, there was some nerd who set that up somewhere that is in the corner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was pretty cool. No mm. one talking to him. <laughs> Everyone enjoying the hard labor and work that he created for the party actually i have a funny story about it when i went in to the photo booth and then i came out i saw kevin Pereira from g4 uh-huh. and he's a friend of mine and so Another i go friend, up eh? yeah he's a friend of mine and i go up to him and, and his girlfriend you... meg hold on i go up okay. to him and his girlfriend meg and i'm like hey and, the, and they're just like oh man because they they kevin saw me on the screen he goes that's amy roiland that's amy roiland and meg goes no it's not and they made a thousand dollar bet for a what? toy a thousand dollar toy on the Comic Con floor, whether they made a bet you. whether it was me. And mm-hmm. I, when I walked up, they were like, "Meg's like, it, oh man, she was all sad." And Kevin's like, "Yeah." So she had to buy a thousand dollar toy because it was me. She's must I just be nice. That was funny. Must <laughs> be nice. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I thought it was cool. So anyway, that was funny. But these so people I, have thousand dollars. Well, sure, of course not. I, I mean, of course they do. I meant to say, why I wouldn't know. they? I guess yeah. she, Come on, take it easy, okay. Ryan. Quit counting other people's money. Fair Jeez, enough. Ryan. So, so it's so so okay. So that happened that night, and then and then what what right. happened? Right. Okay. You, you, so my friend had left me with the guy with the guy from Chuck to go to his. <laughs> she's gonna kill me to go to his hotel at the Hilton. Uh-huh. So I'm texting her like really drunk. Where, what do I do? So I, you're by yourself. I have now no one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the gas lamp district in San Diego. No, no. I'm by myself. You know, I'm texting her. Where are you? Are sure. so uh, I just left without even saying bye. And I'm as I'm leaving, I'm like wandering. The streets. The streets wasted. of the gas lamp district. Right, right. By but there's yourself. people around. What I don't time know. is it? What time is this? 2 30 a.m. Maybe? Yeah, and you're fucking wasted by you're your wasted. fucking self. At right, least I right. was with people the whole night. To well, it was a me. click. Sh- it, w- it was click. It was a, a clear uh, shot, you know. Uh-huh. A so clear shot. I uh, started yeah. walking. For, for, for with any for any lurking. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Lurking deviant. Yeah, no, yeah, it was a clear shot for any fucking <laughs> rapist. And I would never do that normally. I don't know what happened. Huh? Nine drinks um, of a vodka and Red Bull. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going there, and um, I, get, I get to this uh, hotel, and I'm wasted, and I see Brecken Meyer. Mm-hmm. You guys know Brecken Meyer? Sure. Can't really wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Franklin he, uh, and Bad. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> uh, John from Garfield? I <laughs> think right, I've jo- seen John him. From Gar- okay. And I run up to him and I start hugging him. I'm like, hey, what's up? At this point, him. I'm real drunk. Jesus Christ. I'm real drunk. I, I could never do that I with like a f- famous why. woman, like actress. Like, I don't <laughs> care how drunk I am. Even in my <laughs> drunkest state with a chair yeah. on me in a bar, if I see, you know, um, the chick from House, uh, uh, Olivia Wilde. Yeah, whoever. Yeah. I'm not going to go run and start hugging her and go, oh, that? God. Would you do it to I a male know. celebrity? Double I'd... standard. Because yeah. you know when a cute girl does it to whoever, it's fine. Yeah. But if, m- drunk and me, it's like cops are going to be getting involved immediately. <laughs> yeah. Security, cops. Yeah. I'm going to get my ass beat. Olivia Wilde's husband. So he just looked at me weird, and then I walked away, and then I go, I got to get a picture with him just because no one will believe me. But they totally would have because who cares but so i got a picture with him that i have mm. and his face is he just looks really creeped out so anyway wait wait wait, 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 wait. <laughs> did you did you did you pat did you skip over the the accident the fall or are you getting to oh, it oh i guess on the way there i had fell i, I fell something happened to me but my legs were so bruised okay up the so next morning. No, 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 i don't no, no, know no. what let me talk about this so she says that oh don't she takes a photo of her legs two days after Comic Con and they are fucking as battered and bruised yeah. and beaten as you can possibly imagine a pair of legs being. Like oh my god, I just, can see them still. Still, yeah. Two weeks later, and I mean it's just like it looks like really f- like a car accident bad, like really fucked up. Yeah. And she posts a photo of them online and she says, "Don't ever text and walk." But really, <laughs> it's like, come on, you were fucking wasted. And you were texting and walking, and you were fucking wasted. And then what did you do? What happened? What do, what do you remember? You don't remember it at all, huh? I don't really remember it. I mean, I, I feel like I fell, and someone said, are you okay? And I was just saying, fine. And then I got up. And, but I don't know if that's and right. you walked it off. Oh I walked my it off. God. It was crazy. But then I ended up, I was at the hotel, and I ended up not hooking up with Heather, because I, I don't know what happened. I was just out of my mind. But I met Matt Danner, and a girl and I go oh can I hang with you guys because I don't know what I'm doing and then I jumped on one of those pedicabs and we were off to the Hyatt oh that's where I was staying 
but you weren't there yet. This is Friday. Yeah. So I go there and they take me up to this hotel room. I'm really drunk. So I haven't even talked to Matt Danner. I want to ask like, what happened that night? What? And I get we to this hotel. We made love to you, Amy. Oh, no. <laughs> My lady friend and I. I get to this hotel room and uh, and um and I don't know what happened. Like and I ended up going downstairs and tell, then tell, Heather tell, was there. Tell Ryan what Matt left. Danner said to you when he first saw you. Oh, um, Amy, yeah, I'll take care of you. Your your brother would really appreciate me taking care of you or whatever. It was something, like, it was, it was she's something changing like, it. The first I heard was like, oh, oh you're Amy's, you're Justin's brother. I'm going to make sure you're sister. okay. Or Justin's sorry, sister. yeah, you're Justin's sister. I'm going to make sure you're okay. So what a good guy, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. he wanted to Matt Danner, what a great yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's, a, he's, a, he's a white knight amongst uh, rapists. I- Indian he character actors. <laughs> God. <laughs> Here we go. Here's here's. I'm just gonna throw some things out there. Okay. This is gonna be called the, the the mix nuts. The mix nuts segment. Mix nuts. Mix nuts. Shake them up to learn what you got. Mix nuts. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hat. It's the very first mix nuts <laughs> segment. Mix nuts. <laughs> All shit. right, everybody. So let's see what sticks to the wall here. This is fantastic. All right. If if there was, this is this, some of these are horrible. Okay. Oh shit! Sorry. Oh we'll my be god. The, oh we'll my be god. the judge of that. Just and also, lightning just struck. Yeah. Um. Okay. What do you think of? The, and believe me, I'm. Some of these are bad. I'm just gonna tell you. <laughs> god. Uh. Meaning the first one's gonna be bad. Uh. If, if there was a flea version of Jesus Christ, it it would be fleezus. Makes nuts. Whoa. Huh? Yeah. Whoa. Wait. Well, right I started b- out with a really bad one. Right you before start he out said with Fleezus, material. he blew my mind. I was like thinking of a flea version of Jesus Christ, not a pun. When I okay. Okay. Well, let's talk that. about that then. No. 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 God, that, no. That, you're right. No, if it's there fruit was a, of the poison wait, tree. Wait. Wait. Okay. Fine. The, the, would he be doing the, we go. the sermon on the snout? Why? The why? Of- Here's a little thing we could talk about, and uh-huh. Dan, you might be able to uh, edify me on on this. Why is it that people like movies like Marley and Me, where a fucking it's just pain. It just makes you fucking hurt because the dog dies at the end. Uh-huh. Spoilers. <laughs> makes nuts. Why? Why do people I, like catharsis. that? What? Why do, why do people make them or why do they like them? Why do they like shit like that? Why do they like movies with sad? My girl. I the don't girl know. Dies I mean, I, I, or I, I, Macaulay Culkin does. Do you like them? No, I don't. I mean, I I, uh, I can't remember the last one I watched. Because tragedy is a part of life. Mix nuts. <laughs> mix nuts. Yeah, it's a mix nuts like mixes it up. All right, it adds, it here adds we go. You don't want to hear go. the no. answer? No. Uh, okay, I got something for you to think about. Why is it that grocery store names are different in different parts of the world? In uh-huh. California, there's Lucky's, uh-huh. Save Mart, Safeway, Rayleigh's. In Los uh-huh. Angeles, there's Ralph's, Vons, Gelson's. North Carolina, Ingles. <laughs> Florida, Publix, Winn Dixie, Food Lion. Cash and carry with K's, both spelled with K's. Uh-huh. In Indiana, Strax, Jewel. Wow. Yeah. Why? Is Jewel. Like, uh, well, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna wage your guess here. Uh-huh. Uh, grocery chains are regional. No, they're not. They're all owned by uh uh, uh they're all owned by Kroger. Uh-huh. Right. Um, uh huh. Safeway. Yes, but... but they weren't always owned by these giant. Oh really? Yeah, they used to be smaller. And... Oh, is that true? Yes. Yeah. Mr. They, Smarty Pants. They move together like like bacteria, like like cultures, <laughs> like. Yeah, I, be- I bet that's what it is. I, and I, by yeah. the way, they're all universally stocked with horrible processed foods and no other alternatives for healthy options at all. And that's a fact. Mix nuts. Mix nuts. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, next thing. Do you guys ever watch the show Mythbusters? Sure. Yeah. You know those characters, Adam Savage and Jamie Heineman? Uh-huh, we well, do. W- well, what if their names were Saddam Ab- Adage and Hamey Jinaman? Mix nuts. <laughs> well, wouldn't All right. the show would be Bith can Musters? I, can, can I, no. Can I, can I take you to that world right now? Yes, with please. My trans- yeah, 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 here we go. Portal. Here we go. I'm ready. Can you name the universe again? Because uh, it's it's what if... Uh, oh, uh, it's just... Okay, here. Let, uh, what, uh, if, what if the guys from Mythbusters names were Saddam Adage and Hamie Jinaman? Right. Otherwise known as Earth 2. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, you're going to be late for work. I'm almost done chopping all the broccoli. Oh, okay. What? Uh, I'm going to be late for work. Look, I packed your lunch, and I, I know that you thought that I wouldn't take to being a house husband, but given my former career as a firefighter, 
uh, there's an emasculating effect. I suppose we've all been set up to perceive, uh, given such famous films as Mr. Mom and uh, a whole spate of sitcoms with uh, so-called manny characters and uh, just generally just guys being out of their element by being domesticated. I, I'm not one of those guys. I'm uh, just thrilled to have cut broccoli for you this morning, and I, I'm you're gonna be late for work. And- Daddy, Daddy, are we having kuna casserole again? Oh. oh, our daughter, our daughter speaks backwards. <laughs> no, that's 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 the normal way to pronounce it. We live in Earth. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, can I stay up to watch Lay yeah. Geno tonight? <laughs> oh, that's oh. not what I did, by the way, with the names. It, it a little sounded bit more... like you just took the names and kind of. No, Timmy. What I did was. I'm a girl. It's Adam. I didn't say. Uh, Lay Geno, did I? Did, I guess I did, didn't I? Yeah, I guess I did do that. All right, well, is this please a face? explain. This explain. is Justin's face in the sun over this kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> you can just access as the god the of Earth too. Yeah. Oh, it's the god! It's got daddy, daddy. That's the most important difference between Earth One and Earth Two. Is that uh, on Earth Two, Justin is the thing that you, people debate does or doesn't exist, let alone, like, your last hope of having a good afterlife. <laughs> well, his, his face appears in the sun every afternoon. Yeah, it's... That, <laughs> to correct us on the way we jumble our names around. And it's always making... Uh, make, he's always, his face in the sun is always that, like, that, that kind of... that toothless, <laughs> half-mouth-open, like, kind of crazy face. Like Justin, I think it's time to say... Mixed nuts, baby! <laughs> suck, suck, suck. Yeah! Mixed nuts! All right. Hey, am I, adding, am, I, am I adding too much length to the no, mixed no, no, nuts? No, 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 no. Listen, mixed nuts... I'm like it, the cashew. That, the... Was, that was a mixed nut within a bowl of the mixed nuts. Segment. Is there more mixed nuts? Hey, there's always more mixed nuts. You want more? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've got a whole bunch of them okay. here. Uh, all right. What do you think about this? Um... Uh, 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 reality TV guests are looked at as the lowest forms of life on the planet. Mix nuts. <laughs> Mix nuts. Um, <laughs> some of these are hot off the the hot off wire. the hot off the presses here. I just um, want to get a get a get a behind the scenes of the, how that, right. that particular nut got in the mix. Are you nuts, sitting there watching baby. a rerun of Top Chef with nope. your parents? Nope. All right, the next mix nut. <laughs> I guess I'll never know. The human race is not responsible enough. For capitalism, uh, that'll prove itself true in the next 100 years. Mix nuts! <laughs> Mix nuts! He's really, a couple of these nuts are deeply buried, <laughs> agenda-ridden nuts. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, got a couple more nuts here. Wait a minute, can't we go back to that last nut? Oh, uh, yeah, what do you want to talk about? Oh, well, that. <laughs> oh, you want to know, you want to know what? <laughs> I want to know what could we do about that whole thing. Uh, we're well, you and me, nothing. We're <laughs> fucking on a train, society that we can't, we have no control over. All right, can we stop the train? No, like an engineer. No, he's like a woman tied what up. What do we the look track? like? Train people? We're not train people. Well, we're that, passengers. Isn't that the whole point? Weren't we given? Aren't our tickets on the train our votes? No, nope, not even close. <laughs> I think that might be all for mixed nuts this time. Oh. Dan, tell us about this. Are we are we too irresponsible for capitalism? Uh, yes, we are. Right. You've now. got forty minutes. Go. <laughs> Actually, Ryan, I have a segment that is going to cover just that. <laughs> okay. So that's we're talking segue here. Sure. Why not? All right, everybody. All right. Mix. Hold on. Mix. <laughs> um. Okay, so this segment is called, We're Going to Be Going to War with China Soon. And I have uh, cultivated some clips. We're going to be going to war with China soon. I've I've cultivated some clips that I feel uh, help back up my belief that we will be going to war with China soon. Okay. And I'd like to hear your thoughts on it, Dan Harmon and Ryan Ridley, on what I like to call. I've just put my napkin in my shirt. We're going to war with China. (laughs) We're going to war. Going to war with China. Uh, so l- let's hear the first clip. Okay, this is from the news. This is from the unbiased news. Oh, ever heard of it? 
It's going to be a, a, some, some militia man's YouTube it's, it's channel. Just, that's what Justin calls Dateline. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's wait for my computer to, to stop freezing in three, two, two. One. Sometime in the coming decades, China will overtake America as the world's biggest economy. Western commentators increasingly view the United States as the sort of place Imperial Britain was in the early part of the 20th century, a country falling into international decline. How exactly do you reboot Project America when the government is running out of money, when people are no longer prepared to pay more in taxes, but when their expectations are still impossibly high? All right, that was clip all number right. one. Well, uh, all that tells <laughs> was me... Was that a rhetorical question? Well, I don't that, think so. All that tells me is that, um, I you guess know, it if there's was. a parallel there, England is still around doing okay, and they never went to war with America. So okay, why Mr. We, sunny, uh, why? sunny Eggs over there, yeah. Sunny Side of Eggs. What yeah. do you think, Dan Harmon? Well, I think Justin's point is that we're, we're not... Yep. We're not England, so we're going to react poorly. To yep, <laughs> correct. We're a bunch of fucking inbred hillbillies that watch Maury Povich and uh -huh. fucking Jerry Springer, and we're all fucking each other, and we're idiots, and so when, we're when all China... bankrupt. Everyone's in debt. The government, me, me, you, well, I'm not in debt, but everybody else is. Uh -huh. You're a fucking uh, odd man out, mm -hmm. uh, and we consume, consume, consume off the backs of who? The poor. No, the, the Chinese. fucking Chinese. Oh, yeah, the poor Chinese. And so what's going to happen? Well, let's listen to this next clip. Hold on to your hat. Well, my computer fucking... David Churton looks like your typical computer science professor. In the late 90s, David had two students called Sergey Brin and Larry Page. Creators of Google. promised him a share of their new business in return for his advice. Look it up. It's called Google. Fortune magazine has him Called down it. for almost $2 billion, which probably makes David the richest academic in the world. But he worries. David now invests more money outside this country and is anxious that America can no longer afford all the things that its reluctant taxpayers have taken for granted for all these years. I think of this like um, being a jetliner at 35,000 feet and you say, well, <laughs> We're low on gas and we're headed towards the ground, maybe not straight down, but there's going to have to be a course correction or this is going to end very badly. And do you think that the pilots can steer it back into the right direction? I mean, is that, do you see any hope on the horizon? I think the solution has to be that the, this large portion of the population has to accept significant sort of economic pain and adjustment in how much the government's going to do for them. Okay. <laughs> well, first of all, what do you think of that, Ryan? Uh, no, I, I'm all for it. You that. think we're up for it as Americans? I'm fine with it. I, I can live on less. Oh, shit. There was a study that said that that all you need to make is seventy five thousand dollars, and any anything more than oh, that. Oh, really? Make, and then the you sky won't be any is happier. yours. No, no, no. That's the point. Is we don't need that much to be happy. Don't we? I don't. Well, guess what. We're going to need a, a lot, life. Ryan. And also, when the I country believe, falls apart, I believe that that these pilots can. Like in any good movie where someone has to land a plane in a disaster, they can touch us down in a, in a Kansas cornfield gently, and everyone will be fine. Right, maybe I, a little shook up. I think you've been watching. Maybe they're gonna have to get on. You know, you've been watching too many movies. Really? Buddy. Yeah, really. Listen to this next clip, <laughs> which illustrates how we will be at war with China within the next twenty-five years, at least. Well, China Maybe you need has to learn the lesson that tradition these clips are trying to keep. All right, now I got to start the clip over. Well, I'm just saying, you this talking about can real? America do it? Can America live on less? This is the barn burner here. Okay. I'm not worried about Americans living on less. I'm worried about Americans living within their own personal needs or means. Are you? Yes. Really? Yes. I'm not in debt. I'm fine. I, 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 I have... Uh, what did you just buy the other day? What is in your room? In I your bought a gigantic three-dimensional television that... That's not... It's 3D television. <laughs> but it's also... It's it also dimension. exists in all three dimensions, yeah. But I I could afford it. I uh -huh. didn't put myself in debt for it. Uh -huh. I'm not taking handouts from the government. I'm supporting myself. I'm not a fucking... Uh, I'm not someone that needs to be helped. This country has become something that needs to be helped. Not to make this show about po politics. But listen to this real quick. <laughs> We're going to war with China. Well, China has had a tradition of 5,000 years of thinking that it is the center of the world. The difference is Americans think the same way. Only Americans like to go out and disseminate their values and portray everyone. China doesn't do that. And in terms of this rivalry, and I think 
in fact, the question is not whether we should be worried about is China going to be number one or American <coughs> would be number one. We should all be worried if China's economy collapses. That would be bad for all of us. Wait, wait, that a minute, means? wait a minute. That was a twist. Yeah. A con a China's economy might collapse? That's right. Now we have to worry as Americans about China's fucking economy, and not just our own. you're suggesting that if China's economy collapses and America's economy collapses, we're going to be scrambling around going, oh, we're all going to be scrambling for no, the same piece. No, we're going to be fucking killing each other in the most bloody world war that you've ever fucking well, seen. Well, you know what Albert Einstein said? We're all going to die in a giant war, right? Something like that? More or less. Okay. <laughs> no, he said, he said that he doesn't know when the last when World War III will happen, but it'll be the last World War. We're going to war. We're going to war with China. What do you think about this, Ryan? Or, I mean, Dan, sorry. It's all very scary. Okay, uh, here's another one to scare you. All right. Hold on to your Wait cat minute, lips. God. China bankrolls the United <laughs> States currently, correct? Uh, yeah, well, yes, it yeah. does, right, based on current policies It has America. a far higher rate of growth. This is going somewhere, isn't it? Now, Ian Bremer, where do you think it's going? How does it translate into political power? Because that's what usually happens with economic power, isn't it? The question going forward is going to be, can these two countries, the world's first mm -hmm. and second largest economies, fundamentally restructure the way that they and they've thought about their economy and if they can that's going to translate into a lot of political power if they can't they're going to be fundamentally focused internally not externally then your problem's not going to be rivalry your problem's going to be no war one I'll finish his sentence <laughs> your problem's going to be war <laughs> no, he said your problem's not going to be rivalry it's going to be war which, of course, is a form of rivalry. Wasn't that a clip of a guy saying that it's imperative that America and China would learn to work together? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, All right, that's... fine, smarty pants. Why don't we listen to this last clip I've cultivated? Wait, but you didn't let the guy finish? Okay, fine, go ahead. Fine. It's not going to be rivalry. It's going to be... It's going to be... It's not going to be rivalry. Your problem's going to be no one's leading the world at a global level. Yeah, but who cares? That's not <laughs> sensational. This next clip, however, is uh, quite he's sort of sensational. We're going to peek behind the curtain now, Justin? Here we go. This one is the he one. Meant war. He meant war. This is the one that's really going to shake your... This one's hyperbolic. Here we there go. There is a growth in power here. The Chinese <laughs> yes. are acquiring massive natural resources, for example, in Africa. They're buying up lots of stakes in European societies. And they have this a deep water navy now. Sure. So, yes. They will be more powerful militarily in the future than they have been in the past. What does that mean, Ryan? That means exactly what We're in what he's trouble! <laughs> All right, so that was my Chinese and Americans are going to be at war soon because uh -huh. we are, everything we, everything we buy and make in this country, we used to make ourselves. Now we just pawn it off to the Chinese who are making a penny a day in sweatshops. Eventually, they're going to be like, fuck! this where's my fucking cup of tea here's how i'm I getting the fuck out of here with these americans living tall off of my hard work uh -huh. fuck everybody <laughs> and then they're gonna come over here in boats or something and kill us uh -huh. robots no you're right it'll be nukes and the whole world will be gone but you know what there's a comet heading here anyways <laughs> we'll see what gets here first <laughs> the chinese what if the comet hits all of the missiles <laughs> yeah just at the That'd be pretty great. <laughs> Boy, won't I have egg on my face. Only a miracle can save us now. Boy, won't I be alive for the rest of my life with egg on my face, yeah. living in this paradise. Justin, no. you won't be happy until the world goes through some cl no. chaotic... No, I won't be happy until everybody recognizes the fucking downward spiral that this country is in, and the world for that matter, for the most of it, most part, and does something about it. Not that I'm doing anything other than just... You know, buying TVs that were probably made in China. I wouldn't be one bit surprised. My iPad was made in China. Mm -hmm. My iPhone was made in China. Well, guess what, Justin? All my video game systems I were made in China. I believe this segment should be called... Chinese fun! Chinese, <laughs> in, Amer Chinese in America are going to be working together soon! Well, we're working together now. It's until we run out of oil or we, there's some resource that we both need. They have one point something billion people. Uh -huh. We've got, what, five, six hundred million? What is it? Yeah, I don't know. Something about that. Come on. They, they need the space. Uh -huh. They're going to need something. Their mouths, their hungry faces, they're going to need something. And we're going to need it too. But there's not going to be enough. And what happens when that happens, Ryan? What happens when gasoline runs out? We hit peak oil. Fucking 
What what do we do? Our whole economy is based on oil. <laughs> Ryan, what about the bee problem? Yeah. They're dying. Oh, the bees They figured are that buzzing. out. They figured that oh, out. Oh, did they? What, what, what is it? It was a fucking bee fungus. Shut your mouth. Are you serious? It wasn't Wi-Fi. It wasn't. So were the really? bees fixed? Are we fixed it? Yeah, I think we fixed the bee thing, you guys. I'm what? sorry. We yeah! fixed sorry. the bee thing? All right. We they, fixed it. They were saying that was going to cause the end of the world. Ask at, Exactly. Well, I guess, uh, you know, I got, I got a brighter uh, uh, thing. Yeah, yeah that'll, that'll put a could, spring in your step. If we can fix that, we can fix anything, Justin. All right, it's time for listener email, Ryan. Uh, oh, I don't have my computer. Uh, 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 listener email. <laughs> my computer doesn't work. Oh, fuck me. All right. Uh, <laughs> Why don't we just not do listener email? No, because we got a bunch of good ones. <laughs> hey, Hold on. listen. Gonna, yeah, What if we called, does the karate line have outgoing calls? <laughs> what if we called... China. Yeah, let's see if yeah. we can call him. Hold on. Let me see if I can bring it up on my... Now, Justin, will you do most of the talking when they answer? Yeah. Because Wait, is, I... is Justin going to be asking the Chinese people questions, or are we going to be asking I want the Chinese... Justin... No, I want Justin to explain to China, like, why okay. they shouldn't... Okay. Okay. Hello? 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 Oh. Hello? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> is this China? Is this America? Hey, fuck you, man. Oh, come on. Justin, that's absolutely you the opposite of You want to fucking fight what... me, motherfucker? Whoa, whoa, <laughs> I got whoa. A shotgun. Somebody been listening to a lot of news clips. I got uh, a shotgun. And somebody I got... been listening to several different 30-second news clips strung together. And I got... Making I... a lot of conclusions. I got a stockpile of, of uh, fucking gold. What do you want from me? What are you going to do? T- take it from my hands. Not good. <laughs> As you all know, there's a. Well, no one knows this. When they air Degrassi on Teen Nick, there's a fucking commercial that you'll hear 800 times every half hour, and it's the Education Connection commercial. I want to murder someone when I hear it. Yeah, that I was. Want, I want to Amy, murder. Amy is new to the song, and uh-huh. that was my first reaction when I first heard it many years ago, back in 2009 when it first appeared. I wanted to fucking throw my TV out the window. Uh-huh. I, I, it would enrage me, it would make me angry, it would elicit mm-hmm. anger from yeah. me. Why? I don't know. I've it's a always, low budget commercial featuring the, uh, just young the way woman she's moving around. and the fucking yeah, and the, song. It just made yeah. me inf- it infuriated me. Okay. Yeah. Um. There's something just so fucking. You know, at the time, the, it just I don't know what it was, but that's how I. That was what it brought out of me. Just mm. pure white rage. Oh yeah. yeah. And over the years. It uh, you know my I I got you know I, I the, you you can't be angry that angry for that long I mean it, it, it takes a lot of energy <laughs> uh-huh. and effort you eventually yeah. just give in you let go yeah you hear it's it a hundred more times and then yeah. suddenly you're like hey I fucking like this song and then now and then Anger you know turns to appreciation yeah no absolute brainwash, brainwash. yeah and then you and then now I'm to the point where I'm you know after this Degrassi marathon I, I I've hit a whole new level of obsession with this fucking song i mean in this in this they're still playing the the original oh 2009 version? oh dude yeah and and the girl in wow. it and the and the and the way she dances and the song and i've got the song memorized almost we'll and, sing it um i'm working for an hourly wage i went to high school didn't do great but still i gotta make more cash so Education is what I'm looking at. When I get a degree, I will make a bigger salary. But I got to see which college is right for me. I went to the internet and I found education connection. I did the free test to find out my direction. And in my own time. (laughs) It's the right talent for me. Get connected for free, free. That's the fucking song. I and I, yeah. Granted, I, I I fucked up a little bit, you know. But I mean, listen. I, I, and believe me, let me tell you, I have the worst memory of any human being on this planet. I can't remember two days ago. I'll meet someone and immediately forget their name after they tell me. So, anyways, this commercial. So the commercial. The commercial. You hate it. You sure seem to. Oh no no no! Listen, no no. You have to to make to to. I, I can't be more clear when I say that. My hatred for this commercial is I have no hate for this commercial. I love this commercial. I I love it so much now that I I, I can't believe I hated it in the beginning. I, I'm shocked at my original reaction. I would I would be so less happy if it didn't exist. 
There's something about I don't know what it is, but it's you know if I'm sad, I just play this commercial and oh I I get happy. God. It makes me feel what? happy. It's beautiful. So, what, what it all started? The, the, my my obsession was triggered by the Degrassi marathon, and then my friend Stephen Chun posted a photo of the girl allegedly who's in the commercial. Her name allegedly Andriana Veith, 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 whatever. Or so that's what the rumors were. And I saw the photo, and I'm like. That kind of looks like the girl. And that was the first time I ever even thought, wow, this girl in this commercial is actually a real girl in real life. And she's out there somewhere. <laughs> and there's a backstory to her. And there's a fucking... She has parents. She has parents. She has, she has, she has she, <laughs> hopes and dreams. She, 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 has, she has thoughts and, 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 and opinions about this commercial. And, you know, and so it, it just foods. it sort of drove me insane. And then I went on this insane fucking... Uh, investigative journalistic you know you went down the journey hole. to 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 not only confirm the identity of the girl in the commercial but then sniff out anyone involved and find out what the fuck the the backstory is how did this start who 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 was involved who wrote the fucking song who wrote the lyrics who directed the commercial what, what do they think of it how how is it how has it affected them in the uh, moving forward blah 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 so Anyways, I'm still in the middle of this tornado. I got to talk to the guy who wrote the lyrics. His name's Rusty J. Shout out. Shout out. Shout it out. You know, might even have him on the show to talk about it. I think that the holy grail is to get this Andriana Veith on the show. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm not far mm. off. I, I, I actually, you know, I actually have a couple of connections to get to her. Uh-huh. Um, but I don't want to do it yet because it's, I see it a lot like the Borat movie. And she's my Pamela Anderson. Uh -huh. And, you know, in the Borat movie, if he had met Pamela Anderson in the first act, where do you go from there? Sure. Movie's right, over. Right. You're yeah. done. Yeah. I've got a lot of shit to do before I get to... Adriana Adri Vice. Ad yeah, exactly. Yeah. She hmm. is my third act fucking climax. Yeah. And then... The resolution. I want to see. I want to see a shot of you driving up to a Louisiana Louisiana swamp. Oh, <laughs> 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 ding ding ding! <laughs> Just Adriana Vice, like long, yeah. sc scraggly hair, yeah. <laughs> missing teeth. Yeah. yeah. What you want? <laughs> uh, are you the uh, uh, waitress uh, from the 2009 Education Connection oh. commercial? Um, I haven't heard that song in a very long time. Well, let me sing it for you. <laughs> you uh, can sing it for her at the door. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, you know, if you want to follow along and, and see what's been going on, you can follow the Tumblr. Uh, it's um, Grandma's Virginity at Tumblr. or da ba how, However fucking a Tumblr address works. I forget how it works. What is it like? Tumblr. Dot it's, no, no. It's like Grandma's Virginity slash Tumblr. It's like this backwards Google, googly fucked up. Yeah. Go 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 figure it out. It's just Grandma's Google virginity. It. Google it. It's, Grandma's it's virginity. It's got nothing to do with the podcast. It's got nothing to do with the podcast. Mm -hmm. The whole blog is entirely dedicated to the Education Connection, Connection girl and the people behind the commercial. And at first, it started off. You you tried to make it that you did not believe that Adriana Vice was I, the identity I, of I, the mysterious. It's not waitress. that I didn't believe it. I wasn't thoroughly convinced. I didn't have convincing enough evidence and i and i really felt like based off of the stuff i had read online that there was enough question out there as to the possibility that Andri andriana veith is not the girl or veith however you say <coughs> her name that i felt that i couldn't just confirm it based off of a fan appreciation page that some yahoo made you know four years ago mm. or you know, just I or a Wikipedia entry, or you know, I because all that shit is bullshit. There, that's that you can't convict a man of death based off of a Wikipedia entry, or uh, you know what I mean. It's got to be concrete, absolute, solid, indisputable evidence. So, what was that evidence? <laughs> the evidence was a blog. Or I'm sorry, no, it was a Kickstarter page for a movie called Side Story. Being uh, this kid's trying to drum up money, and his writing partner is Andriana Veith. And uh, there's a video embedded huh. on the Kickstarter page. Ryan Ridley found Thank it. Thank you. Oh. There's yeah. a video embedded Good on the job. Kickstarter page and at about, what, a minute and a half to two, two minutes? Two minutes and 
50 seconds. seconds. Okay, so two minutes, 58 seconds into the video. Boom, there it is. He says, I got to thank Andriana Vith, blah, blah, blah. And we, I knew who she was. I knew who she I looked at her IMDb mm-hmm, page. Mm-hmm. No mention of entertainment connection or education connection commercial. Except for in, the, in, the, in their, their forum, the forum. On the yeah, IMDb. But no, but, yeah, but those people don't. I, who, who the fuck are those people? I mean, you know, it's like, just like, um, you know, j- just a, a couple weeks ago, Hugh Hefner died. Everywhere. Like a wildfire. Hugh Hefner died. He didn't fucking die. It's just a bunch of assholes. You know, uh, having fun. Yeah. So I wasn't going to believe anything until I, I had solid proof. And that was the proof I needed. It was, you know, he basically said, you know, she was in the, she's the entertainment connection girl. And oh. there you go. And education. He, education. Education, whatever. Connection. And so there you go. That, that, that mm-hmm. chapter of the search was, 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 that was, that was the close of act one, maybe, I guess. And now I'm, now I'm off into act two. I'm, I'm, I'm going to track down every motherfucker involved with this fucking thing, man. Get to the bottom like of it. like Kill Bill. Go get him. Go yeah. get him. No, I mean, wow. I have a fucking knock. It's like Munich. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm doing a service for a very small group of people out but there. But passionate. Yeah, because I, I, you know, the thing that's inspired me to continue is that I did a fuckload of research and there's nothing, there's no place that has it all there laid out with the honest facts about this commercial and i feel like this commercial is so in everyone's fucking head at this point and they play and you it. really went deep into the mythology you talked to the guy who wrote the song the I, I no no no. i talked to the guy who wrote the lyrics and helped with the actual vocal melody which to me is a pretty big deal because that's that's the archit- architecture for the rest of the song really connection yeah yeah right mm-hmm. so, i mean you know he now he's not he's not taking full credit for it he just said he had a, a heavy hand in the in the construction of the vocal melody, but he did write the lyrics. All that was all him. Mm-hmm. His, wow. name's, his name's Rusty J. Um, <coughs> so yeah, I talked with him. I'm still trying to track down the guy who produced the music, and I'm trying to track down the guy who actually worked for the ad agency that was contracted to do the commercial. And what I did discover is those three guys lived together. Um, the guy who worked for the ad ag- agency was childhood friends with the producer. Um, and then this guy, Rusty J, sort of got into the mix later, became friends with uh, the guy who was the producer, and they worked on an album and a few other things together. But look, hmm. just follow my blog. It's Grandma's Virginity dash Tumblr or whatever the fuck. Grandma's Virginity slash Tumblr. I, I don't know. It's It shouldn't be that hard to find. You'll find it's it. good stuff. So that's that's what I've been up to. That's why the show's been late. Watching Degrassi, <laughs> fucking that's around, true, sitting uh-huh. on my ass. Yeah. Uh, waiting for Jackie, Ryan fucking around. Um, really haven't been that busy. Yeah, I got to right. be honest. Mm-hmm. I've been just fucking lazy and just, you know, I mean, I've had a few things, you know, busy, the comic con, the, you know, the, whatever I'm working on a development for my, for a show. But, uh, but none mm-hmm. of that stuff was too much to, to put me off doing the, doing another episode. It was the, it was this fucking, it was the laziness, the laziness and, the and, and these bizarre time sinks that I've been finding myself yeah. in uh, dealing with but uh callers if you ca- tell us your big time sinks yeah call 1-800-grandma's <laughs> t- virginity hold we got a caller on the line yeah hold on let me see hold on Bill from Seattle hold on let me get the thing here hold on this is, this is Bill we from go. Seattle Bill from Seattle go ahead Bill hello it's Bill uh, from Seattle Justin you mind if I take this Hi, Bill. Bill? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Hey, so we're talking about time sinks. Yep. Uh, what? What is your... You, you've got a good time I sink, got a time I understand. Sink. Yeah, what is it? Well, it's a sink. <laughs> yeah? They can tell time. <laughs> How does that work? Is there, like, hands in the, hands the, the faucet? It. The drain? There's hands on it. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, uh, you know... Um, I think you might be being a little too literal. Well, it was a time sink. I think we now. Do you wait? Sp- hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Okay. <laughs> hold on, I'm getting a call. Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> hold on. You're getting your own call. Let me get this real quick. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello? What are you doing? Oh, what are you talking about? What are you doing? I, did you cook dinner? No, I didn't cook it. What <laughs> are we gonna eat tonight? Wait, hold on. Hold on real quick. I'm getting a call. What? Okay. Hello? Yes. Where are you? 
What are you talking? <laughs> I give up. I can't. Oh my god, it was so good. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's, it was too slow. It was too lumbering. And I, if I was quicker, maybe. I just, <laughs> Phil Hendry, you are not. It. Yeah, no, I'm, not, I'm no Phil Hendry at all. I love um, it. Nor, I, nor do I. I wish I. I wish we could figure out. I can wish, I try that? Can I? Try yeah. Do you want to try that? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I'll try that for you real quick. <laughs> hold on. Uh, you're on mic three. Or mm. yeah, no, you're on four. So let me get you up there. Okay, you ready? Mm. Okay. Hold on. Hello? Uh, wait, I'm supposed to say hello, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. okay, here we go. Oh, hold on, you guys. I, I think the show's getting a call on our, <coughs> our brand new phone line that we installed. Nice. Hold on, let me get it. Hello? Hello. Who's this? My name's... <coughs> <coughs> You're live, G- sir. Gene? Gene? Yeah. So what are you calling? I, I have a, a, a bird bath that I... Oh, spent a lot of time. Okay, so you want to talk about bird baths then? Uh, yeah, on the show. I, I it's it's uh, about two feet high. Hold on one second, I got a call. Okay. Hello, Gene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is your neighbor. Huh. Valerie. Huh. Oh. Hold on. I'm about to complain of all the birds up in your bird bath squad. Wait, I think Valerie, Valerie's getting a call now, too. Okay. I'm free to do it. Excuse me. Okay. All right. Hello? We're done. We're done. Hello? We're done with this. All right. Wow. So. Um, You're right. It's harder than it looks. Yeah. It's, it, 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 it takes a, a special mind yeah. to be able to do that. Um, yeah. I, wish I, I wish it wasn't an echo. I wish I actually had. A filter, uh, like a phone call voice, you know, like like a like a filter I could use that sounded like you know you're on the phone. What? You can yeah. get that. You, well, you'd think that it would be built in. Obviously, number one fucking thing. But mm. no, it's echo in this room, <laughs> echo in this big of room, echo in this bigger room. Do you want to be in the the New York Opera? Yeah, there's like 50 huh. echoes, and it's like, okay, I, give me two echoes, mm-hmm. big room, small room, and then get creative. You fucking mm-hmm. idiots. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's uh, let's skip over to listener email, shall we? With uh, special guest Dan Harmon and a brand new twist, listener uh, email theater. Classic. You're gonna love segment. it. All right, everybody, it's time for listener email. Yeah! 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 All right. When you read the email, I don't want to impose. Yeah. Uh, can you read an email? I want to see if you can do this as a kind of a, an effect in in the board. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Start reading the email. I will become the person that the e- that is writing the email. Well, okay. Yeah. But the question is, I like it. How, how, I gotta I gotta pick a good email to do this for. Okay. Like for instance, I could I could start off reading one from Justin's sister sister Amy. Well, we can go back and do it. Regular Later, style, legit, because it's not going to work anyway. I just wanted to do the effect. Okay, okay. okay. You, let's do a test real quick. Okay, shall I'm gonna, we? I'm going to read. A, I'm gonna so read Ryan, a... I'm going to turn you down at a certain point, and as you hear him get quieter, that's when you need to jump right, in. Right, right. Okay, it's like, well, I need uh... to start a little earlier than that. You yeah, but to... but but the trick is the the. I need to fade up, but that's the thing. Like you don't need to bother yourself with the fades. I think Ryan can try to fade down. Okay, okay, but... fine, fine. But the really tricky part is you have to be saying the same thing as him when the crossfade yeah, happens. Yeah. Which so you're gonna have to. And we both have that's to. That's on you. I have yeah, to yeah, fade yeah. up, and he has to fade down. Yeah. So you're gonna have to really be <clears throat> sense when he's gonna fade up. He'll do right because and you, you say the effect is like in a movie when a character is reading right. a letter. Right. Yeah, and it cuts and then, to him, and then the person who wrote the letter starts taking Dear over the narration. Dear God, yeah. I'm writing to tell you that that I love you. Right. Well, that didn't work. Because Come on. Well, data. don't let's, let's okay. Let's okay, wait. Okay, 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 please okay. go let's into wait. the lab okay. yeah, before okay. we yeah, you're right. fuck around in the hallway. You're right. Imagine if you will a person writing an email. Think of all the places they could be writing it from, and all the people around them. Listener email theater, a magical treat indeed. Listener email theater, a journey through imagination. Advice for Ryan about the drunk 24-year-old. Wait, um, will you read it like a movie so he can start? I'm just reading the subject line. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. My advice to Ryan is Is don't always... (laughs) 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 Try it. Start over. Start over. Start over. over. Sorry. This is terrible. No, it's not. This is the best. My advice to Ryan 
is don't date women under the age of 26. How old are you, Ryan? Are you mature enough to love a woman with all your heart? If you truly trust someone, let them go. If they come back, they must have done something right. Michael, what are you doing? Are you writing a letter? Yes, I'm almost done with my missive to Grandma's virginity. Oh, well, Michael, don't forget that, you know, you have to feed your pet snakes. Elizabeth, we talked about this! You undermine the shit that's important to me! Michael, your snakes are hungry. Get her! Oh. Oh. Uh, it's kind of like the Adam Sandler sketch. Oh. <laughs> Cantina boy. Oh, Jesus. That's what I just did. Listener email theater. Yeah. All right. No, it's okay. Let's read the email what? for real, and the what next one we're going to try it again. <laughs> we're going to do it at the top of every new email. All yeah, right. I just sprayed uh, slime Come? all over. Oh computer screen doing that snake effect Justin. oh okay well it was worth it can you rub it <laughs> <All> off <right. laughs> okay i'll do it later don't worry about it my advice to ryan is don't date women on the age of 26 how old are you ryan why would you even consider going on a second date with her she's so immature so this is about the drunk girl yeah that i told the story about two well ago. Da- dan dan wasn't here so ryan went on a date with a drunk girl she was crazy he tried to sober her up whereas most guys try to get a girl drunker i know. try to get her to sober her yeah and how old was she again? 24. 24. Right. I have been very drunk before, and I don't even act like that, especially on a first date. She seems a little disrespectful to you to do that. Drunk is this or, a girl or a guy? I think this is a girl, Okay, Justin. keep going. Drunk or not drunk. Oh, shit, Justin. Your fucking computer just automatically logs me out of, of your... Oh, what boy, is Ryan. About? You are something else over here. I am not something here. else. It just, it just logged me out. Oh, boy, Ryan. I've been on a couple of dates where you get too drunk. I mean, when you're 24, you don't know how much you can hold and what's going to happen to you. Okay, yeah, I'm logged well. back in. Drunk or not drunk, it, it's all an excuse for her to act dumb. Most girls will get drunk to act dumb on purpose to blame it on the drunkenness. So I would say move on. You will find a nice girl who's <laughs> mature and not an alcoholic. I'm single too, and it does suck. And it's weird now how nowadays the girl has to be the one to make the first move on a guy. Me and my friend Tammy were just talking about that. Wait, is this my Tammy sister? Tammy met an army guy in the base and asked him to kiss her right away. If she didn't ask, it would have never happened. Guys nowadays are little shy babies. Amy Royland. Oh, okay. I was about... You know what's so funny? I was about to yell to our listeners and tell them, All right! Uh, at the top of your email, name and where you're from and maybe your age. Just give us a little bit of fucking uh, uh, information. Something to hold on to. So I have context while reading the rest. But it was my sister and you did the old fucking, you know, Surprise M. Night Shyamalan twist rooney thing on us. Well played, Ryan. <laughs> Well played. <laughs> you thought a stranger said something that didn't matter. Well played. It was someone you know. It was your sister! <laughs> the head in the box! What was the thesis of the email again? I can't even remember. Oh, that you're, you're, this girl you went out with, she's bad she news because she got news. too drunk on her. Bad news. Well, but, but, but well, I think Amy, the main wait, Can point, I say something to my sister, sister who sure. will hear this? Amy, just want to remind you that our father, on the first date with our mother got insanely drunk and threw up what, in the bathroom serious? of the Manteca movie theater. Wait a minute. It's true. Your your dad, who was 10 years your mother's senior, I yep. believe, asked her on a date, Uh huh. took her to the Manteca movie theater to see what? The French Connection? I don't know. And they snuck in hard liquor, and my dad uh, got so drunk that my mom had to like help him out. Like father, like son. Yeah! yeah. And how come your mom decided to go out with her again? Him. Well, like Dan said earlier, you know, when when the certain guy and the certain girl and it's all, you know, yeah. connects, it doesn't uh-huh. matter how drunk the guy gets. A cynical person would say they're making it up. Women are randomizers uh-huh. of the sexual uh, uh, arena. Yeah. They, what do you mean? They, they're just they're the spikes that come up out of the Flash Gordon tilting floor. Uh-huh. Like they're just there to <laughs> just just it, like mix it up. Like the women's tastes, you don't know. Ah, you, there's no way you can no figure it out. There's no predictability. We know they don't like boogers. We know. Yeah. We know. Well, they, we know not they don't, all of them. We, we know. We, we we know we get further with them when we we don't th- throw gazelle femur at them. <laughs> Wait, is um, that is that from the caveman days? Yes. Oh. oh. Or or. We also we know that they don't like to, to be raped. Base. Not all of them like to be raped. But they do like rape fantasies. And they also like to eat poop, poop out of greasy butthole flaps. Right? Women like Everybody. rape. Just a rumor we heard. 
Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> that sort of built. What your sister is trying to say at the end of this email is uh-huh. that it's a shame that guys are basically pussies these days. Yeah, well, you know what? Girls are too. And because they have to be, because if they're very forward, then they're sluts. Isn't hey, well, well, look out, Amy Royland. Next time you go grocery shopping, you might meet <laughs> a Excuse friend me. of Michael Do you Smith. Know Michael Smith? <laughs> <laughs> now that Justin's new technique is, is hitting the I streets. can only imagine what. Been unleashed. I can, pretend you're your sister now. Can you do that? Yeah, okay, Do you have ready? enough objectivity? Here we go. Uh, excuse me. Um, do you know Michael Smith? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're cute. You're cute. Come home with me. <laughs> but but I'm not going to have sex with you. We're just going to be friends. But you're going to be in love with me. <laughs> That's my sister. Yeah, that is. Well, uh, <laughs> at least I know what I'm getting myself into. Uh, yeah. I appreciate yeah. No, but, but seriously, I think my sister would, would be confused as hell. She'd be like, I think I do know Michael Smith. Yeah, like, she exactly. might be the girl that's like, I think. <laughs> Your yeah. sister would be the one that turned out to know Michael Smith. Your sister has 5,000 <laughs> Facebook friends. Yeah, she actually friends. knows someone named yeah, Michael believe Smith. believe me, she does. He's a designer. Which, yeah. by the way, by the way, that might be an argument for using an incredibly common name yeah. like Michael Smith. Do you know John? Because, John Smith. Because the deception doesn't have to stop at just the reason <laughs> you're talking to her. You could extend it into a whole relationship. <laughs> yeah. That, no, no, no. That's, that's the reason Michael Smith's got legs, because it's a stem cell of Wait, a why it could it could be stretched Wait, out over years can i can i tell you something the best part of that is like after you go on a few dates and and sort of the, the comfort level is is is, is grown and 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 you pass the butter and you go started with a lie yeah no you say do you remember when i told you or when i first came up to you and then yeah and you say well i didn't i was a pickup line i don't no, know michael it, smith she'll go i know you didn't well i or, That's it could, what would or it could end like in the the town when ben when the girl finds out that ben affleck uh started dating her because oh the town remember that movie did you just call it the tone the town you the said, mm, like the movie, the team. The point is, is remember how they start dating? And yes, then yes. Be, okay. and he was a bank. He's the fucking bank robber that kidnapped well, her or whatever. I, I want the dramatic scene, how, how the girl finds out. It's six months in the relationship, and she one day picks up your cell phone and starts going through all your names. And it's like A's, B's, C's, <laughs> and gets to the M's, and she's like, Michael Johnson, Michael Rogers. And just there's no Michael Smith. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's her best friend. That's, that's her. That's how yeah. she finds out. There, it's there, her dad. There was never any Michael Smith. <laughs> yeah. that's a, no, but it was her dad. That's the, the guy that, that's the girl that Justin's going to marry is Amanda Smith. Uh-huh. He's yeah. He's going to try this line eight uh-huh. times, and it's a common name. So one, the eighth girl is going to go, <laughs> oh, that's my father. Yeah, no, no, that's true. And, and Justin's not going to blink, and he's going to go, he owes me money. <laughs> so can I, can I, can I get in your car and just... Go home with you and live under your bed. I, I, I got a lot of theories about about the Holocaust and the <laughs> Armageddon. I, I want to share with you on the ride home. I just want to live under your bed. I'm going to I'm gonna be... Wait, do you I'm imagine... I'm going to be the, the, the love of your life. <laughs> do you imagine a scene where she's finally like, Ooh, by the way, Michael Smith... Uh, we're going to a cocktail party at Michael Smith's house, uh, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> and this is your sitcom. Yeah. This is your... <laughs> Pretend. He is going to be so excited to see you again. Oh, God. Straws in the wind oh. and rivers gone wild. I'm pretending to know your dad. <laughs> Wait, here, uh, here uh, we're at the party now, and, and Dan, okay. you're Michael Smith, all right. uh, and I'm the girl. And, okay, and, uh, all right, and I'll be me. Justin, 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 come here. Oh, oh, there's Michael, there's Michael. Come oh, here. Oh, there's I'm Michael. sorry, I have Michael, to go to the bathroom. Michael. I have to go to the bathroom. Why does that guy always walk away? Uh, well, Christopher you're my, you're, Walken! You're my daughter. Thank you for the applause. I'm now I'm an audience member watching. Oh, I fucking I can't believe they cast Christopher Walken. What a perfect oh, choice. Daphne, uh, regarding yeah. this boyfriend Wait. that I keep being lured out to parties to meet, I implore you not to bring me out to meet him again. I implore you. Okay, walking out. <laughs> Literally, literally, literally. <laughs> Ker flash. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Uh, <clears throat> boy, is your oh, dad gone? Oh, thank, thank you goodness. You just missed him. Well, hold on, did. hold on. You, uh, Amanda, you didn't ask him if he knew me, did you? You know what? He was talking so long and for oh, so good. much. Oh, good. Thank God. <laughs> Anyways, come on. Let's go try the appetizers. All right. Ugh. This ho- Thank God this house is huge. Oh, no. Do not go in there. 
<laughs> Wait, outside? I took a sh- I thought I was taking a shit. Am I Catherine Hepburn? Dad, Dad, don't shit outside. <laughs> Sweetie. I mean- By the way, this is Justin, your oh. old acquaintance. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Everybody, run! Quick, I can turn into a car. Crawl into my shirt. I ha- I can't turn into a car until after you're in me. That's the rule. You old poop. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Christopher Walken. A listener email theater. Yeah. <clears throat> this next email subject that fucking crazy new Area 51 book. Hey, GVP. I really wanted to get all of your reactions to that fucking crazy new Area 51 book. It, it seems to be filled with so much information. Ah, the mind wanders just to read each chapter. Well, anyways, I've got Jeremiah! to Jeremiah! Uh, yes, Daphne, I'll be right there. Are you writing another letter? Oh, you know me. Just love writing to my favorite podcast. The cows need to be fed, Jeremiah. You know we are uh, Amish. Right away, Mama. Wait a minute, did you say you're writing to a podcast? What is that, Jeremiah? I can't talk about it. You know that ranch I said I came from? The one far away? Yes. Jeremiah? These podcasts are like telegrams to that world. Oh. Well, as long as you're not using uh, electricity, it'll be just fine with me, Jeremiah. Now get out there and churn the butter and feed the fucking cows, you piece of shit! I'll be right there! I, I threw it away with that guy. That the I know the story was there. Uh-huh. A businessman broke down uh, yeah. the Amish countryside. Yeah. Fell oh, okay. in love with a beautiful Amish woman. Has her convinced he's an alien. Oh. Okay. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> all right. Yeah. No. I. All right. I. No. I just thought it was his. So- her I son. just thought that he had convinced her that he had taken to her ways. Right. But secretly needs to keep listening to Grandma's Virginia podcast. Yeah, I don't know where I got the alien thing. Yeah. Well, no, 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 that's I, because that's what I was going I got for. A, I got a taste of the alien thing. I, I felt it a no, little bit. I, I, yeah, I should have dropped it. No, no, no. I, 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 got, I, got a, I got a dash of it. Go oh, I see. The alien thing was because the subject of this email is that crazy fucking new Area 51 book. Yeah. Well, I mean, don't hold me to that level of engagement. <laughs> Connectivity. Yeah. Thematic. Uh, okay, so what the fuck ball is Ball running with. Okay, it could be a great, good topic. I'm back to the actual email, yeah, by the way. This is this we're is not how, in the world this of This is the... how it really went. <laughs> Where's Toppy, by the way? <laughs> is that smoke on the water? <laughs> His parenthetical was, where's Toppy been, by the way? Oh, Justin? um, well, we we kind of did a Toppy-esque thing with the Mixed Nuts segment. Yeah, that's true. But, but Toppy wasn't toppy, here. Toppy, Toppy, without the Listen, Toppy. Listen, what... What is with these people? What is this? Uh, fucking It's Pat, Saturday Night Live? I want to see more of that thing you did once or a couple times. Yeah. I mean, could you we even can, imagine? We don't need it. We Ta- don't need it toppy, to be funny. Wait, wait, Toppy at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Hey, it's me, Toppy. Yeah. Hey, bro. Hey, are you, you lifting weights? Me? Yeah. You know where those are built from, don't you? Uh uh-uh. uh. Can you spot me? I though? think they might be made in Indonesia. <laughs> Why don't you talk about that? <laughs> yeah! bro, bro. Where's my clapping noise? <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, he fuck. Said the, he said the thing. You could talk about uh, that. To- Toppy yeah! to- top at the airport. <laughs> Sir, can I see your boarding pass? Well, you know, boarding passes. They help people get on airplanes. Yes, I know, and I'd Why like to see yours. Why don't you talk about that? I'm talking about it right now, sir. Can I see your boarding pass and some ID? Hey. Yes. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. You know, it looks like you've got cum on your face. Well, I, Why don't I, we talk I, about I have, that? I no such thing, sir. <laughs> All right. Okay. Enough. 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 Toppy. There. That's where he's been. Toppy in the office, making copies. Hey, I'm just making copies. You know, copy machines have ink in them. You know what else has ink? Squids. Why don't you talk about that? Toppy, you've got the promotion. (laughs) 
They're just asking for more of the show, man. Yeah. They just like the parts they like. I'm on their side as a new host. I'm, I'm kind of the a- advocate. I'm the Prometheus up here, to. Well, we'll do a Toppy segment soon. He'll the, be back. The book. I think we just did. Oh. The well, book was on right. the... N- <coughs> if you guys remember. Uh-huh. This is the... Uh, by the way, I think I'm dying. This is the uh, subject of the Area 51 book. The book was in the news a few weeks ago on The Daily Show and stuff like that. If you're not familiar with it. Oh, is this the declassified Area 51 yeah. thing? It I saw a special on National Geographic mm-hmm. Channel. I don't need to read no book. It basically says that the UFO that crashed in New Mexico was a Soviet hoax. Yep. Why is it such a big secret? That's the fucking horrifying part. The pilots were human children who were genetically and surgically altered to look like aliens. Wait, I don't remember this on the G- National <laughs> Geographic Supposedly. <special. laughs> The craft that crashed in Roswell, New Mexico, uh huh, was a Soviet mind fuck something, <laughs> some sort of Soviet technology that no was. No wonder they lost based... the Cold War. <laughs> it's like a, that's that's like going elephant hunting with a with well, a with a lacrosse with a peanut shooter. Net. <laughs> okay, yeah, there As you go. In... That's better. Well, yeah, or it was unrelated. Ch- no, or, or a chess set. They were using huh? Nazi that? technology, and they. Wait, in in the in the in the deformation of the children in the genetic. Well, no, they they were trying to surgery. they were trying to convince uh, whoever discovered the craft, obviously that. They okay, were hold on, hold on, hold on a second. If this is true, mm-hmm. then I would imagine if I was a high level government official who was privy to the inside information of the of this true hoaxy Area Fifty One or fucking Roswell thing, that I would be like. Take these weird alien kid bodies and fucking store them somewhere where they're not going to rot in a freezer because we don't know what the fuck they are. Test their blood, blah, 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 right? Uh Uh-huh. So they should still exist. Once they found out it was a hoax, what did they do? Bury them? No, they're going to keep them. Just because the government, just because this book comes out doesn't mean the government's throwing up their arms going, all right, show them the babies. Show them who wrote the the fucking book. A woman who's doing research. Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, and Wikipedia is always accurate, too. I, I, Here's I, a quote. The child-sized aviators in this craft that crashed into Mexico were the result of a Soviet human experimentation program, and they'd been made to look like aliens a la Orson Welles' War of the Worlds, and it was a warning shot over President Truman's bow, so to speak. Well, hold right, on. Right. To, be, to be fair, uh, mutating human children, putting them in a an undetectable saucer shaped secret craft and launching it into the southwestern United States was only part two of a much larger plan. It's th- had three parts to it. Oh, uh-huh. well, the was... third part was yeah. just like you know r- r- rake in the dough, <laughs> raking in. <laughs> Let's write what movies th- and books, <laughs> pulp novels, short stories, comics. Yeah, what? How are they we'll gonna make money? We'll be rich. I, I, I am. I am. Little genetically altered children. You know children. what it is. You know, I am is. now at the store. <laughs> <laughs> They're like the uh, new cabbage patch. No, kids. you know what it is. They wanted an op- They wanted to open a diner off of the a, a small Nevada highway. Yeah. Just think of it. <laughs> Just think of all the power based off and of money. Alien. <laughs> <laughs> and life that, that that's controlled by this. Dozens of books published per year. All because you don't think they wanted their fingers on those puppet strings? And my name think is... about the things you do every day because you aliens may or may not exist. This is the final journal entry of Hervé Villachez Sr. <laughs> I am about to participate in a secret Soviet experiment where my body will be genetically modified to appear to be an alien being. I am leaving this so the hopes that my son, Herve Villachez, will hear this and know that his father only wanted the best for him and loved him very much. Herve Sr. <laughs> yes, a Maria. I put wheat thins on a plate and put string cheese in the middle like you liked. <laughs> and also to know that my my dear wife Maria always knows how much I love her, eternally and forever. Wait a minute. Did it say that it was Spanish? P- children? I thought you said it was like Russian children. Who are, who are, who are the American children that are? Oh wait, why no, is it so confusing? What were the kids? What were? Wait, the, no, yeah, it'd have to be Russian children, right? What's yeah, the nationality gotta... of the children that were launched? <laughs> also, I want everyone to know that I am a I Russian. Am, I am a Russian uh, n- uh, 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 by nationality, but I was I was raised in Mexico. Uh, I'm actually from there originally. Uh, what did they do? Like put the fucking saucer in a slingshot or something? Yeah, it's. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. This is the strangest. <laughs> you expect me to believe this? I think aliens crashed here. 
I don't. I'm not going to believe <laughs> any of this genetically modified Russian babies. <laughs> Aliens are the answer. That's all. It can't be anything. All else. right, moving on. All right, next email. Subject: Would like to hear your thoughts. Okay, Dan. Why would you suppose, despite this cliche being around forever, tons of people <laughs> within the last few years they've all seemed to wear different hats? I've seen different shoes, different shirts, different pants, and those things make sense, admittedly. But different hats? I've Fill up. decided to... Yes? F- Philip, <laughs> have you seen my hats? Uh, They're probably in the closet. Again. I only had three, and they... Every time you come to stay with me, they just seem to disappear. I... I well, I I don't know. What I I feel like maybe you stole my hat. Check his suitcase, Ma. All right, let's see your suitcase, Philip. Uh, Flip it open. I, I I. Oh my God! It's filled with hats. That's your but that's your bowler, Ma. That's your bowler that's right my there. Bowler hat. I never should have written that email. Oh, it's also filled with the karate. <laughs> And a bee! Run! <laughs> I wish we could use our cowboy hats and swat it away! Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was a pretty complete narrative. Yeah, that was great. An we did it. email with a twist. Listener email theater. Yeah. All right, continue the real email. All right. Why do you suppose? It has nothing to do with hats, I have a feeling. <laughs> Why do you suppose? That was the worst one so far. Like, I just started mumbling under my breath. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, I loved it. Why do you suppose, despite this cliche being around forever, tons of people in the last few years have been saying, quote, it is what it is about everything. It is such a cop-out explanation for something that happens. I don't know. Max. I use it for everything. I actually got out of a speeding ticket uh-huh. and, uh, what? and a rape. What? a rape. Charge. Trial, <laughs> yeah, a rape trial. <laughs> Said, a rape trial. Your Honor, my, this person raped a woman. <laughs> it is what it is. Objection. All right, he's free. Let him go. <laughs> this case is dismissed. No, you're right. I don't know. I, I think this it's has slang. been a mistrial. It, it that, is what it is. That 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 that's just slang. It's just slang, right? <laughs> well, Yo. it's it says it's hey, a zen-like simplicity in it. You know, it is. Okay, when when does that really is. apply? Let's think about it. When 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 would it be okay to say it is what it is? When does it when when would when would you be completely satisfied with that answer? My wife left uh, me. Okay, uh, I have uh, yeah. my show is really low rated, but the ratings don't really measure anything accurately. But the ratings matter a lot because that's how people measure the ratings. Okay, that's how, that's how valuable your show is. So it is what it is, like. All right. Uh, are ratings important? Yeah, it is what it is. Okay. All right. That works. I accept that. What about you, Ryan? Oh, well, I didn't realize that you could save your own. No, he's just, he built I'm up to it. I'm using an example. I thought, I, 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 he I, built up to it. I, okay, okay. Um, you have to build you know, up to I, it. I, I'm, 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 I'm having, I don't, I'm very conflicted about my current relationship. Uh, you know, there's a lot All of good right. things. Enough. I've got one. I can't do it. It is what it is. No. I have Why? Because you're taking too long. I'm taking too long. Here, you want a real good one? <laughs> I took twice oh, as long. Yeah, Here we exactly. go. Exactly. Thank you. Well, yeah, there's some wrong, bias on this show. Two wrongs don't make a right. If only one of us was a woman. Here's mine. I just got bit by a rattlesnake. It is what it is. <laughs> that's uh, that's huh? that guy's at peace. Uh, yeah. All right, how about this? That's a dead man. I'm talking. late for the subway. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> well, that one's close. Yeah. Here's some synonymous Is phrases. The subway and this What's this guy's guy together? Name? What's the guy's name? Matt. Okay, Matt. Hey, uh, uh, call, first call the ambulance because uh, you know you're right. Your life's in danger because people say some fucking dumb thing. Um, are you gonna be okay? Uh, help's on the way. Um, uh, uh, just cling to your life. <laughs> cling, cling to it. And just just try to hold on because it's gonna it's gonna get more fucked up than that. You fucking nitpicky, sensitive, <laughs> thin skinned fuck. Wait a minute. Are you are you accusing Matt? Yeah, what are you of, mad at? Are you accusing Matt, our our writer, our, our listener, uh, of being very thin skinned because he's upset about the phrase "it is what it is"? I was just trying to juice up the. Oh, oh, just trying to create. Well, why some... juice up one email when we got plenty more to go through? Well, what, Jewish what, what, gold is the subject of this next email. Oh, okay. All right. Get ready. Here we go. <clears throat> Hi, my name is John Cohen. 
I currently live with my outside of other. No, that's just yeah. You stupid. guys didn't line up at all. That one was really sweaty. There's got to be that's a little. That's because I had an agenda. I was like, oh, I'll make him a rabbi. <laughs> that was see. That's exactly wow. Oh. Inside the mind of Dan Harmon. Yeah, yeah, but it's spelt with a Q, and he's actually Russian. I have to actually focus on trying to get the words right. Yeah, that's you have the to. The, the <laughs> begin- don't don't do me a favor, please. Don't freak out if I if I if I don't come in where you think I might come in. Okay, you don't, no have, to, you don't have to do anything. As soon as I hear you open your mouth, I'm yeah. gonna start. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Here we go. <clears throat> Hi, my name is John Cohen. I currently live with my mother in Garland, Texas. I'm a huge fan of the podcast. However, you... I do have a few sticking points. The first is that the volume's too loud. Ah! When you're screaming, it's like craziness in my house. My mother came in the other day and she asked, "Who are those people talking?" They're not people. They're a podcast, I said. Henry? Henry, what are you doing in my room? I'm. It's the only place with a laptop, Dad. I. God damn it, Henry. I'm sick of this shit every time I go into my room. Dad, I love you, and I want to be a better child. That's it, boy. Marty, stop yelling at the boy already. I'm going to make and him stop suck. stop acting more I'm going to make him suck Jewish. my pinky finger. Uh. <laughs> Marty, why do you have to do the hair to these old-fashioned customs? I'm going to make customs? him lick my butt no. <laughs> nugget. Uh. Marty, in my jar. lick your lips, son. Oh. Uh. You got a pinky finger to suck. I want to lick a turd out of a toilet. <laughs> I don't know. I, is, I, I, I blew it right away. All right, go ahead. You go guys want to try again with this? No, or? no, no. We, we, next email. We'll save it for the next one. Can't, well, how about this email? No, are you? Yeah, finish it. Finish the fucking email. We can't just blow. We can't then just don't skip. say next email. Well, no, I'm I, Jewish I, and no. poor as fuck. According to my old rabbi, ooh, there is a rabbi in this email. Mm. I'm poor because I've decided on practicing Reform Judaism instead of maintaining my real, quote, Jewiness and orthodoxy. Wait, your rabbi told you this? Yeah. My question to you guys is... Jeez. Why isn't Reform Judaism considered <laughs> Biased real... Biased much? <laughs> why isn't Reform Judaism considered real Judaism by, quote, other Jews? Jake Gyllenhaal is Jewish, but yet he practices Buddhism. Can you guys settle this once and Ryan, for all? Ryan, I think this is your question to field. <sighs> Do you want the real answer? Yeah. No, give us the fucking fake one. What's the question? Jews, why, why his, why can't he just be a reformed Jew? His rabbi wants him to be, an, wants him to be an Orthodox Jew. Okay, and he says Jake Gyllenhaal gets to be a, so reformed he's Buddhist. Oh, I'll yeah. tell you what, Jake okay. Gyllenhaal doesn't hang out with your fucking rabbi. That's the problem. Get the fuck out of there, dude. You're going to get a guilt trip all the time. He's just going to get a guilt trip from this guy. Hollywood, there is plenty of Jews who are able to be as liberal as they choose. Well, that's the world. Yeah. You're just hanging out with this fucking guy who's, who's, you know, he's got his own hang-ups. And he's rubbing them off onto it's you. It's this rabbi. It's, it's this rabbi. I don't think they're hang-ups. I, got, I think, I, the man I, is, I think uh, we found the a... fucking source of your concerns here. Okay. I'm not going near this fucking thing. <laughs> okay, this is the Jews. hottest button I've ever fucking seen. It's burning my fucking hey, face off <laughs> from across the room. Jews have been around for thousands of years, and the uh. reason they've been around so long. What? No, go ahead. You Continue. wanted me to explain this, and, Why you... and, and they've and they've been persecuted yes. that whole time. And since the beginning. The reason they've been able to they're they're still around is because there is a certain core group that chooses to be orthodox, which means they're very there's a spree de corps. Yes, they're very protective of the traditional of the values bloodlines. that define the original halakhic or, you know, Torah or whatever, hardcore Judaism. And through the last 300 years, as Jews get more and more accepted in the society, they're like, well, why should we walk around with the black suits and the long beards all day? Look at this guy. Look at this Woody Allen. Yeah. Look at this Lenny Bruce. Why can't we be more like him? And uh, or if it's twenty years later, look at this Paul Reiser. And so they start to relax their standards, <laughs> and the community, in order to try I want to, one he has. in order to try to uh, mitigate that, says, okay, 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 listen, you guys can still be Jews and come to temple, and we'll, we'll relax a little bit. It's true, you know, we'll drive. Blah, 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 blah. But the problem is, eventually, that uh, like everyone it's entropy, bleeds into each other. Exactly, we're all the now, same shade. Now the question is, do you care about protecting this ancient? Culture? Obviously not. He doesn't. He's well, then asking. Who cares? How, then who? What's then who the cares? magic solution for me to be Jewish, but also not wear, you know, grow my beard out, and not touch things, or whatever crazy shit that they believe? I'll tell you what you do. Get away from this rabbi. Move to Hollywood. <laughs> Move to Hollywood and, and live in sin like the rest of the Jews here. Yeah, that's Just right. Just like every race does here. Just like Rob Reiner, and uh, and uh, what? What do you? 
Uh, I can't think of any other case. Alan. <laughs> He doesn't live here. Oh, famously, yeah, so, so, New York. So, some, yeah. Somebody's got to toe the line, right? They no, got, like, yeah, like, that's like true. Ryan yeah. was expressing, uh, they didn't get this far. Yeah, somebody as will. a community as being a, a bunch of Jake Gyllenhaal's. Force. But the thing is, if your heart's not in it, then don't toe the line. Other people will do it for yes. you. Yes, John. Yeah, what do you want? That's what I tend to tend to think. But yeah. Then again, I I, I belong to a, a a globule that that got this far by thinking that because it has no fucking dignity or shape to itself at all i just belong to the the other thing that's just this this big puddle of acid that dissolves everything into one thing by the way dan i just read your your uh article in uh written by magazine what yeah. what are you talking yeah, about yeah i'm sorry i don't know about this. i just remembered dan, dan scoot up you know, to the mic scoot as a member to the <laughs> as a member of the writers guild of america uh-huh I re- receive a subscription to Written by Magazine, the official magazine. All right, of Writers boring. Of Next email, please. And on the cover of the latest issue, what on the cover? It Wait featured a minute. the creators of the ABC hit The Middle, but then on the side it said <laughs> Dan Harmon, and I opened up the <laughs> opened up the pages until I found a picture of Dan and an uh-huh. article, and it said, I believe the title of the article was "The Nut Stops Here." Yeah, written by writers that magazine. Wait, did you write the article? <laughs> No, no, no. no. Oh, Why no. did they say the nut stops here? I don't know what that means. Does it mean you're crazy? They think you're crazy? I guess maybe. Maybe I have a reputation wait, for being the, crazy. Is the, is and, the, and maybe I stop now. Now, now this show is my undoing. Wait, is is the article itself? <coughs> is that the thesis of the article that you're crazy? No, it's very flattering. Oh. It, it makes me seem like Alan Alda. Well, like, is I, the guy <laughs> who wrote it? What's with the nut stops here? Then how does that tie into the? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, this is a, you're talking about a guy or a girl I can't remember uh, who 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 wrote a very nice article about me. So, huh. by the way, you were, they, they, I, they, I, they profiled um, the the cre- the it was like uh, several show runners, uh-huh. like several high level. Like Dan was in good company. It was like it was like uh, Russell T Davies, who's like the Doctor Who show runner, J okay. J uh, Abrams, like all these big guys, and everybody. Posed for the picture, except for Dan. They clearly just got a still of Dan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> didn't they? Why didn't you pose for the picture? I don't remember what you. It's probably about. a schedule. Every, and time. everybody else's article clearly had like the written by a magazine came to their office and said, "Hey, can we come here around four o'clock today?" And you know, the creators of Smallville posed at their desks and you know, yeah. with the, holding up a Superman doll. And I don't know. I don't remember which photos you're talking about. But yeah, sometimes it's because we're in production and then we're out of production. Ah. And, uh, I'm sure they posed on their sets or something. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. know. Fair enough. All right. Anyways, the reason I thought of that is I thought that your identity, Dan, is a, is a, is a writer. That's your tradition that you feel that you're a part of. Well, he's also part of the primordial Ooze. goose <laughs> that we all I was just are. To, I was just trying to justify Because guess my what? Tangent. We squirt out of a fucking fleshy vagina, and then we run around, and then we fucking die. And where do we go after that? Nobody's figured it out yet. <laughs> And the scientists are running around. Nobody. F- they're trying to smash atoms together. Uh-huh. G- give up. We're <laughs> fucked. All right, next email. I don't know what any of that has to do with P.S. I live in the neighborhood where Jack- Mike Judge used to live. Garland, Texas. Apparently served as inspiration for King of the Hill. Love you guys. Shalom from Texas. John Cohen. Okay. I got to say, I really do like Mike Judge. I'm a big fan. Next email. Hello is the subject of this next email. It's me again, yet again. Alejandra. Well, I wanted to email you sooner, but I've been really busy this working. My thesis and my <laughs> dissertation, which are both due at the end of the week. I'm a college student thriving at the prosperous Eastern Seaboard District of Ivy Leagues. Uh, whence where one says not Land to go. Ho! Uh, oh, uh, Land ho, Alejandra! Uh, Grab the anchor! We've hit land! Heave! Oh! oh, my goodness. This place looks like it's plentiful. Oh. oh, we've been on the sea, Alejandra, for how many weeks? Too many to count, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to live wonderfully now. I think I see a native mm. there in the bushes. Ooga booga. Oh. Ooga booga. Oh. 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 He's racist oh. against himself. Oh. I Ooga. think. Hold on, let me finish. But he's Ooga very li- booga. Ooga booga is what you think I would say. Oh, uh, however, a nice save. Yes, however, just because I'm dressed like this with foliage and. And the white powdered wig? Based, yes. What? No. Very s- strange attire. Yeah, he's got a white anyway, powdered wig? Yes, so, And buttons? Um, Where'd you, where did you make the plastic buttons? 
All right, Alejandra. (laughs) Welcome, welcome. I don't fear you. I welcome you as guests to my strange land. Where where are the women, (laughs) sir? Yes. I think I think so. I think a country got here before us, and I think that that guy is one of them. Listener email theater. Yeah. This is horrible. That one really went in the ditch. Yeah. We, 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 that one. That one just took a, a huge turn for the worst. Not I don't want to be. I don't want to be Not overly critical, but Not that, no, we, 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 it's fine. It, By the he, way, also he, he he was describing a school, not a. You just heard the word seaside. No, no, I didn't. You, That's <laughs> not why I did that. Yes, it is. No, I just imagine. You know, I, I smelt. I, I swear, I got a, a a whiff of the ocean and. Uh-huh. Well, I like to think that even the the bad ones are still entertaining. On I some don't know. Level. I'm really bad at the effect, though. I, it, I could hear it in my head, and it's not. Well, it's you know, hard he, to do. Is here's the, what it is. is here's the what result it is. of the experiment. You, you, you and I'm not trying. I, I don't want to be. Uh, no, give uh, me notes. Give I don't. Me notes. Well, I, I I don't want to sound like a, a, a uh, what is it? A, a sofa quarterback? What's it called? Oh. A, 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 <laughs> a couch surfing a mon- football watcher? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Quarterback? But my thought is, if you just grasp onto the beginning of a sentence that's fairly right. clearly, oh, I know. Well, what the it next... keeps sensing Ryan's like trying to. No, don't even look. Are you at trying him. to blame oh, me? I, actually, I, I have a tip that might work. Maybe this won't. But it, what if you just close your eyes? Right. And anyway, just Jackie look... never blamed anything on me. Yes, she did. I know. Um, yeah, just close your eyes. The next one, and and right. and maybe, and I'll and I will just I, really get into the zone, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just close your eyes. Take a deep breath. And by the way, the only reason why, uh, never mind. I don't even Should I finish anything. this one as it is? Yeah, yeah. Please, okay. yeah. <laughs> Ale- Ale- Alejandra is is she the Indian girl mm. from uh, or is she the Texas girl? I think she's uh, Hispanic. Okay, it's me again, yet Alejandra. Well, I wanted to email you sooner, but I was really. Ah, I'm writing this from a... No, no, okay, <laughs> read the fucking email. Uh, it actually no. is what it says. Oh. I want to email you sooner, but I was really busy working on my finals and senior essays so I could graduate. Well, what I just wanted to say was that I made my manager and a couple of my coworkers that have iTunes rate you five stars. Oh. Thank you. Well, I mean, do they, do they actually believe... Do they just... <laughs> Do they listen? Yeah, we're not really looking for like pity ratings. By I mean, the I'll way. take it. I'll take them. Uh, I mean, I guess. Yeah. But, but I mean, look, keep. You know what? Forget it. Just keep doing it. Go <laughs> yeah, out and get as many get as, as many, you many can get. friends as you can to just mindlessly rate us five stars. But what would be better is if they you actually, actually like believe yeah. in the rating. Yeah. And I miss Jackie on my episode thirty-three. Well, I'm well, sorry. You and the podcast sounded very. Why don't lonely. you send Jackie a Facebook? Message. Hey, and this is a message to everybody who Take listens. Take it to the source. Barrage her Facebook yeah. with, with complaints. Yeah. Contact her. Petition like, her. You know what? Maybe, maybe this will be like, maybe what will happen is it'll be like. Turn her end. love and connection to the listeners in, against her. Yeah. It'll it'll be like the end of a feel-good romantic comedy or yeah. co- feel-good yeah. movie where. Catch Jackie at the airport. She gets 100 emails from. If you write her really heartfelt please to come back, yeah. she might. Do it. And if you don't, well, then you know, don't look at me. I did. I tried. Do you want him to yell at her? Or, no, no, no. Or, don't or, be angry. Or, or, cry, or... cry. D- pull the sympathy cord. We miss you. We need you. That shit. That kind of stuff. But do you really? I mean, I think that this this episode with Dan has been. Boy. Yeah, I think we might have won him over. Yeah. Don't don't sell past the clothes though, man. I mean, don't fuck it up now. Yeah. What does that mean? Don't sell past well, the we clothes. We still we still got some to go. Oh, don't sell past the clothes. Yeah, oh. so that was inappropriate to use in this situation. Uh, anyways, she says we love you, people. Keep up the good work. Sent from the grandma's virginity iPhone application. Oh, thank you to Rob Benagala. Keep downloading that. All right, next email. Okay, Benagala. Dan, are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Are your yes, eyes closed? yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm not going to look at you this time. But for, for seriously, don't anticipate it. I'm not just, going to. I'll wait, wait just for read you. Okay. Yeah, just read and, and also, like, deliberate and kind yes. of Got clear. It. Speak Got like it. this and kind of a, in a very sort of slow, pronounced, proclamative. There you go. <laughs> Got it. Subject, another Aussie. Hey, guys and a girl. And another, uh, <clears throat> sorry, let me start again. <laughs> I'm just a little in my head from all that instruction. <laughs> hey, guys and a girl and other random guests, if there are any. Just wanted to write in and let you know you've got another Australian in listener. fan in me. I have started listening to your show when I was in the outback and throwing my boomerang. It landed next to a radio. And what do you know? Jiminy Cricket. It came beaming down and I had it. So now I love it because I'm Australian. And... 
I also... Terrence! Oh. I've been bit by one of those beaked platypus build... Crikey. They're very poisonous, Terrence. Oh, all right. Uh, hold on. I'm going to summon all the animals, mate. Wait, what are you doing in there? Are you... I'm doing Cantina Boy again. But before that, what, what, you look like you were writing some sort of pinned letter. Oh, Lord. It's a... Did somebody call me? Who are you? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, oh. oh, he's really, he really went, he really went all the way there. <laughs> yes, I did. I went all the way there. Oh, boy. What else do you do? Let's hear Jay Leno. <laughs> Jay oh, Leno. that was Adam Sandler. Yeah. <laughs> I just figured it out. You didn't get out. that? I didn't get it. Jay Jesus Leno, Christ. go. No. Okay, fine. I'm no, gonna... I ain't gonna do. I'm not gonna do Jay Leno. I'm gonna do a crazy Brooklyn guy. Do Jay Leno. Come on. No. Come on, Ryan. Please. No. Now everyone wants to hear you do Jay Leno. I don't want to do Jay Leno. I yeah, don't. I now... can't do Jay Leno. I'm not good at it. Right, don't I'll do it. Do I'll it. do it. I'll do it. And this God, will make you want to do it. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Oh, hey, I think Jay Leno. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, we got a good show for you tonight. Oh, jeez. Oh, I got a lot of cars. I like them. Hey, here's my first guest, <laughs> Tom Hanks. Uh, hey, everybody. Wh who's that? Tom Hanks. No. <laughs> Do Jay Leno now. Do your Jay Leno. I did it. Hey, everybody. It's uh, I, Let me ask you something. Uh, what what war happened in the year 1812? What? What war happened uh, in the uh, year 1812? Uh, 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 World War One. Oh, oh boy, Americans out here on the Universal City Walk are sure morons, aren't they? All right, okay, now you do your Jay Leno, Dan. <laughs> uh, uh, Dan we're coming up after the break. Uh, we got All right. some, some real articles for the paper. I'm going to read them. I wish I had a boo sound effect. Listener email theater. Yeah. Well, do you want to try again? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's Dan? try again. This will be good. next one? All right, really? Mm. This is it. I feel terrible. The subject no, no, no. is this. This will be good. This will be good. This okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring my best. See it through, man. I'm gonna see it through. I'll bring my best. Okay. Can you? Can you? If it turns out fine, and you're gonna use it, can you edit out all of the no. times I second guessed it? No. 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 Oh. No. Oh. You mean? Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. We want your. We want your fans and our listeners to hear the. Is this the no, email? This isn't the email. This e read the fucking dance. email. We okay. want people to hear the raw. Un, uh, you know, we wanted to hear you as you, all your flaws, okay. all warts and all. We Don't tell it. us to edit things to make you look good. <laughs> I'm not not to make me look good, just to keep your show going, man. Okay. Next email. The drunk Justin. It's the subject of this email. Okay. I totally understand what Justin is going through. I suffer from the same idea. This might not be interesting to read in the podcast, but, but Justin. It says it has an identical know. genetic blueprint to me. I discovered this recently, quite unexpectedly, on tour in Iraq during a visit to the medical clinic following the detonation of an impromptu explosive device while I was on sortie with my buddy. Z Private Jenkins, are you writing letters in my thing? My sir, sir, yes, sir. Quarters, sir. Quarters. Are you writing letters in my quarters, Private Jenkins? Yes, sir. All right. That's good. Keep. That's what I wanted to see. Now, you see what he would, was doing, everybody? He was writing letters in my quarters, and that was a good thing. Sir, I believe you're undermining the entire chain of command Private here. Jenkins, let me hear the rest of that letter. Sir, you are really losing your credibility Lieutenant the Phillips, if you do not question my orders... I'm not questioning your orders, sir. I'm questioning your sanity. Oh, all right. Guys. Uh-oh. There's something coming down from the sky. That's a Chiron. It yeah, says yeah. Uh, Pentagon. Okay, cut to... So we're at the Pentagon now. It's approximately six <laughs> three-yard-long objects entered the Earth's atmosphere at 1,300 hours. What they do they sound like, sir? Well, like this. What does it mean? At first, we thought it might be math, the universal language. Then we started to detect patterns. So we played it backwards and put a noise gate filter on it. And this is what starts to come through. 
We be- my God. <laughs> it's UFOs. And they know the Kung Fu. Yeah. That's yeah. that's what you're going to say, right? Yeah, yeah. They're armed Are you teeth. sure it isn't the Chinese, sir? <laughs> because the odds of aliens attacking by, us are by, pretty By the way, I, I'm just a janitor here, just speculating in the corner while I mop, <laughs> so you don't have to necessarily confirm or affirm anything I say. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were the corporal. No. No, I'm just a, a maintenance what, man. What the f- Fuck yeah. What been, kind of uh, uniform did your janitorial service well, design? I, I, Knowing that you're going to work at the Pentagon, this is deliberately designed I to know, confuse people. I know. It's all the metals, isn't it? Yeah. Well, this one's for scrubbing. <laughs> well, this one's for waxing. I don't care what they're for because there's no uh, upper authority. You just, I just spent all this time talking to you about the fucking global crisis. I thought you were... And we're the only three people in the room. <laughs> well, who's, who's dealing with this then? <laughs> Thank you. Back to that scene in Iraq. Listener email theater. So, uh, uh, Jenkins? Jenkins? Can you filter out the sound of me <laughs> laughing at, 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 at the show? <laughs> no, no. I, I, I don't were have ha- that kind of were technology. Were you happy with that last one, Dan? <laughs> It was all right. I don't want to second guess things. You know, it's not charismatic. He's, he, 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 they're getting better. Or, or yeah, I guess it's sort of hit or miss. I don't know. I, I feel like I've blown the, like a couple of them. But you be, hopefully, if I, I, I hopefully you'll be able to pick which ones you use. They enter- like, oh no, 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 we're using them all. We're using them. Well, will you say <laughs> they that all, now? They, they enter- all of them entertain me. Okay. All right. What, fin- will you finish the email? The the one that the we the, finished the one that the, 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 no, it was just that was it. Really? Yeah, it was actually the the length of it was. Uh, drunk Justin, I totally understand what Justin's going through. I start from the same idea. This might not be interesting to read in the podcast, but Justin, I just want to know you aren't alone. Oh, That's okay. It. Thank and you. I, I guess what that means is that uh, you, you're, you're, your you're, behavior, you're the life of the party yeah, when you're drunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, oh my God, here's a long one. Okay. Oh my, oh my God, this is long. All right. Should we do this? Well, <laughs> I mean, what do you mean by long? I mean by long. Oh, I don't know. Can you editorialize it? You well, you could it? just dissolve to a more <laughs> dynamic version of their sure, let's, message. Sure, let's, let's see what happens. GVP is the subject line of this next email. Hi, GVP. My name is Aaron Martinez. I'm a 31-year-old graphic designer and illustrator living in L.A. I, I just want to let you know that you saved my marriage recently. My girlfriend and I were having a fight, and when I married her, we kept fighting. We also kept listening to your show. So when you said that one thing about that one thing you said, I played it for her, and she totally stopped not liking me. Too many negatives. Jesus. Hello? Hello. Is this Jesus Adrian Martinos? <sighs> it is. Speaking. Well, I'm sorry to, inter- to bother you. I just wanted to let you know that my grandmother... Got the flowers from you. Jesus Christ, does she got the flowers? Okay, hold on. And she. Okay. I just need your address. Okay, my address is 173 Sunny Lips Lane. <laughs> and if you just bring the money that you sent. In the flowers, she'll be happy. Listen, I swear Excuse to God. Excuse me. I will be there in th- in 10 minutes. If I'm not there, like, something went really wrong. Aaron? Aaron? This is your estranged wife? Who is Mario? this? Hello? I have a question for you. Since we are, you know, trying to repair our marriage and whatnot. I'm a little confused. You sent flowers to this woman? You sent flowers to this woman? And yet now... You need her address to... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Listener email theater. Yeah. Boy, Ryan, you really fucking uh, piled on and <laughs> ruined that one, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't understand the premise of it. You said you said you got the flowers. Well, I, I, I purposely and then made he it asked, confusing. He asked your address so he could go back there to give you money. 
for well, the flowers. I, I, I mean, you, you know, you have to, you have to be couples. You have to really pay attention. Next email, please. He was writing a letter about his wife. Oh, and actually, him. Th- do you want? Do we want to finish this? Can yeah, you summarize it's very it? Very long. No, no, no. G- can you just editorialize it? What's the I want to let you guys it? know that your your podcast is my absolute favorite. He started listening a month ago and he's already caught up. So another okay. one of these. Et cetera, oh, et cetera. Th- thank you. That's I know amazing. you're all busy with your jobs and other projects, and he's patiently waiting new episodes. In the meantime, is there anything he can help? He can do to help get things going. Oh, uh, I don't think so. I I I, if, I would say yes, but you know we're, we're we're too controlling about it. I've never subscribed to a podcast, but I would definitely pay for yours, or at least donate to your cause. Money, time, artwork, pizza. What do you need? Oh, we'll take artwork. Give us, send us some listener yeah, artwork. Yeah, we always want artwork. We've got a couple of great ones in the wings. We're- Anyways, he says how we're his heroes. Justin, Jackie, and Ryan, you're my heroes. I love how personable and candid you are about your lives on the air. As an artist and comedy fan, I'm always fascinated by your guests and the conversations you have with them. Justin seems like a really interesting guy. Do you want me to editorialize this, Justin, or do you want me to read every word? <laughs> I love that he has I'm not a room you, Ryan. full of collectible toys and Lego sets. I also have a small collection of comics and toys from mostly Star Wars figures and Transformers. Maybe I should editorialize. Well, yeah. I mean, everything he says about himself, just only when he's complimenting you. Anyways, after he, <laughs> after he heard you talk about how you like Legos, he had to go buy a set for himself. It was uh, so much what? fun. And helped Does he say what his first set after was? a long, successful day. No. Did, uh. And Come Justin, in. he says your characters are amazing. Hmm, thank that's a you. Very, All of very them. nice fan letter. Yeah, that's the <sighs> kind, that's the kind you want to get. That's, yeah, that's the kind. That's the kind that. We, all the other ones frustrate you kind of deviating from yes, in one exactly. way or another. Absolutely. There's like nine nine things that that email does that you don't realize you need yeah. until they're missing. I think someone once said that Ryan. <laughs> Is the glue of the podcast. Wait, he's still going? <laughs> hey, listen, you fuck. Hey, wait a when minute. When you write to us, you better <laughs> keep it short and sweet. I believe that's true. He does a great job of keeping the gang on task, playing the straight man for Justin's characters, and being the best listener email reader. <clears throat> reader? <laughs> <laughs> and Jesus. being the best listener email reader in the world. Sharing his insecurities and, oh. makes Ryan more human. And real to us, the listeners. Uh, yeah, that's Ryan's function. He uh, he uh, he's more like a normal person. That's right. <laughs> Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> and real to us, the listeners, yeah. and we love to root for the underdog. Ryan seems like a smart and kind guy. Will you at least read it? And quicker? I bet he's a great friend <laughs> to Justin and Jackie. <laughs> What, Something what the about fuck Jackie, is the blah, 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 blah. He cut Jackie loose pretty quick. He's doing like the, and that's the rest of the story. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't do that for the for the dissolvy bit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, that's, you, what, that's, a yeah, that's what he's use? looking for. I don't know. I'm lashing out because I'm so embarrassed about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love listening to Jackie and hear what she thinks about things. She seems so adorable and funny. Brings something really special to the group. A female's perspective. It's easy to see that she loves the fans and we love her too. Yeah. If I were single, she would definitely be the type of girl I'd go for. Smart, sexy, funny, and into World War II. Ha ha. Well, GVP, you guys are awesome. Please keep up the good work, please. Aaron, P.S. Consider me your newest and biggest fan. I'll send our episode artwork and email soon. PBS Abed, you are too cool too. I'd love it if you had Abed back in the podcast. He seems like one of those guys. You one just of these days, hate, no matter what crazy shit they they do. Ha ha ha. PBS SSSS. I love the Robert Kirkman episode and the comic book references, especially the Eric Larson impression. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I agree with that whole letter. That's how I feel as a fan too. Really? Across the board. Yeah. He has the same tastes as me. Uh, I didn't go and get Legos because of Justin, but I went. And, I you know what? Downloaded Minecraft, which is virtual Legos. Because I think Justin is a taste maker. Uh-huh. I am. When Justin says something's awesome, I I perk up. I go, like, I better pay attention to this. I'm pretty good at at at, at recommending good things because he's a consumer Maximus. He's a he's a, a beta tester. I kind they, of am. No, no, no. What do they call that? What do they call early adopter? There you go. Early. I got the 3D television. We didn't even talk about that. Oh, Ooh, whatever. My wrong. No one cares. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I got a 3D television. <laughs> Wait, do you guys want to wrap up listener email right I'm now? Justin Roiland. I feel like it's about time. My TV's got not just two dimensions now. <laughs> now it's got three. Hey, you want to watch watch me play a video game on it? Hey, I'm Justin Roiland. Justin Roiland. Hey. This is... Uh, your father, uh, your hey, boss. Hey, Dad! Thanks, <laughs> thanks for thanks for sending all that stuff Wait. you sent. I really like the taste of all that food. Justin, hi. Sorry, I figured out who would be. This is Walt Disney. What? I just want to say that of all the characters I've created and my legacy has created, 
Oscar, the lovable, neurotic, afroed video game loving fish on Disney's my company's fish hooks is my favorite. Okay, hey, well that, that that's great. That's uh that's that's really a, a, a crucial piece of information. Uh, uh pro- you can probably uh, wrap it up a little a little faster next time. A little a little you can probably do it uh, pick up the pace a little hey, bit. Hey, wait, hi. I I I couldn't help but notice I'm just an innocent bystander. <laughs> yes. I, oh, uh, who are you talking to? Oh, Justin? Hey, I'm I'm Justin Roiland and I'm talking to Mr. Disney. Well, there, there, Disney. There's, there's no one here in the room. You're you're by yourself. Oh. Oh, next thing That's... you'll tell me is 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 there's not two of me. <laughs> Whoa! This is like the end of Fight Club. I just found out I'm only one person. Oh! And there's bees everywhere. Oh God, there's bees. Oh my, there's bees. <laughs> okay. Um, is that the last email, or we 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 have another email? Oh, we've got plenty more. Well, here. But I uh, think we're done here with the emails. I think so. <laughs> Can we do one more? Just I one I'm, more. I think I'm, Can I we think do I'm, one more email? A, a short one. I think one? I'm dying of consumption. Okay, let's just do one more short email uh-huh. and see if we can't really hit a home run with the <laughs> with the fade. The, oh, fa- the just fading, the, fade. the fade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, okay. I mean, whatever happens after that. All right, it, I know the proper it's all cadence. Gravy. I know the proper cadence now. Okay, I'm rubbing my hands together. Okay, let's cracking last my email. knuckles. This next email is titled "This is a listener e- email." All right. Hi, GVP. I miss you guys. Please make a new episode. If you're reading this into a microphone, I guess I owe you a thank you. Because that means you have made a new episode. You are very prompt. How did Ryan end up making that and getting it on G4? Is it going to be a regular thing? I (laughs) will Oh, man. Wait, did you... Oh, shit. I think I skipped a line. Yeah, you did. I was like, what the fuck? (laughs) Sorry, sorry. Okay, one more time. <sighs> well, not one more time. Just I'll just start. I'll pick it up where I left off. Okay. I was watching Web Soup recently, and Chris Hardwick introduced a web clip of a kid getting hurt. Then there was a short film. Oh, uh, a big man shooting himself in the foot. It was funny, but not Grandma's virginity funny. I'm blind. <sighs> like David. Envelope. Put it in the mailbox. <laughs> David, are you sure you're done? I can't tell. I'm blind. Well, I'm deaf. Oh. So I don't know what you just said, but I can certainly read to see if this... <laughs> I'll try to get it if you're listening. I, I don't know. The phone must have been ringing. Hello? Hello. My name is Mr. Money Flaps, and I've got some coins to drop in your pocket. Oh, shit. Laps? Hey, hey, uh, uh, d- uh Adam. Yes, it's Mr. David. Money Flaps. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's the guy who drops coins in our pockets. He's the guy that could restore my vision and your hearing. We never... Oh, my God. And save the whole rest of the Hello? place. Mr. Money Flaps, please uh, yeah, go on. I, yeah, I, yes. Uh, I just... I have a, a bank account of lots of money. You just have to give me your bank information. I'm in Nigeria, and I will forward my money to your account. What's he saying? Uh, he just needs some information. Just all of well, it. Well, what kind of information? Uh, social security, credit cards. Uh, y- Wait a minute. You name do, it. The do you hear? Sir- Did he say he was from Nigeria? These, these are all Did he corners. say he was from Nigeria? Yeah, yeah, sure. How'd you know that? Well, Michael... There's been a lot of scamming going Wait, around. Wait, hold on. It's me on the phone. I've got a real twist for you. Open your door. What is he saying? I'm deaf. <laughs> I'm here. I'm in person. Let's take pictures together. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the funnest thing ever. Hold on. I think the church bells are ringing. Wait, hold on. I'm going to... Turn up the radio. <laughs> I want to feel it. I want a summer. Turn up. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh I didn't my know God. I had that. That would have been good for the other one. All right, okay, that's it. That we're done. We did it for every single fucking listener. Was that a home run? No, <laughs> not even close. No, that was that was, was the most discombobulated yeah. <coughs> mess I've ever heard. It's Here's, not my fault. You got to go back through this podcast and uh-huh. you got to pull out all of the all of the improvised <laughs> sketches that involve me. <laughs> 
and it's not because of my vanity. But Dan, you were such a good <laughs> improviser. Throw me under the bus. Appear in the beginning of the show. Do a special wrap around and go. Dan came on the show. We did a lot of weak no, improv look, together. There's some good stuff. There's some bad stuff. I think that uh, you know. But the, at the end of the day, there's a lot of stuff. The razor tool will fix everything. Snip, 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 and snap, snap, snap. And then also edit out me commenting about it because uh-huh. that's no one wants to do that. <laughs> Jesus. And then also edit out me doing this right now. Okay. All right, everybody. That was episode 35 of the Grandma's Virginity podcast. Uh, thanks to Dan Harmon Hi-ya! <laughs> for sitting in. And uh, um, thank you to Matt Taylor. Yeah. Matt Taylor. Matt Taylor. Is for awesome the listener dude. email art awesome this week, dude. thank you to Rob Gennagalli, Ben mm, Galli for God. the iPhone app. And, thank um, you to Jackie for not being here again. Second one. We'll see how long this keeps up for. I guess it's the third if you count the Abed. Yeah. Who did you have the first? first? Just he and I just, sat here Justin alone. Justin and I. Last, last two episodes Episode ago. 33. Yeah. It was pretty good. Was it good? I yeah. think so. Short I'd sweet. be fine with just doing with, just with Justin. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty intimate. I mean, yeah. I feel like we. I probably probably said too much. People seem to like it. All right. Anyway, so that's the show. Tune in next time for rate us episode. on iTunes. Oh yeah, rate us. But on only iTunes. if you actually listen to the show. Oh, and go to pigsorpeople.com for check out to check out the Facebook page. And if you're gonna buy a Lego set, my advice would be, um, depending on your budget, a really good one that's not too expensive is the new house. There's a house called Hillside House. Check it out. Just came out. Hillside House. It's a great starter Lego set. All right, and that's it. That's uh, it for this episode. Send us emails, such and such, so and so. All right. Are you still recording? Yeah. Oh, uh, what else, what else, what else? I don't know. Dan, do you want to say anything? Dan, you have anything to plug? Next uh, next uh, installment of Town at the Meltdown Theater? Yeah, uh, August? Jesus. Yeah, I can look July. at the uh, Meltdown Comics. Dot com net site. Okay, but you're gonna do another one? Yeah, it's called Harm. Just Google Harmontown and, and get tickets. It's Dan's if live you're, if you're uh, in LA. Live. Uh, d- d- what do you He's got a live it? show, salon style show. All right. Good evening. So, all right. Bye, no everybody. Well, I hope it was worth the wait. Super big old thanks to Dan Harmon for sitting in and having some fun with us. Thanks to Amy Royland for rounding out the show. Thanks to Matt Taylor for this week's episode art. And don't worry if your art hasn't been used yet. We'll get to it, homie. Don't be sweating it. Send your art in emails to grandmasvirginity at gmail.com. But don't be a dumb idiot about it. Get the Grandma's Virginity iTunes app on iTunes. And thanks to Ron Benigali for all that noise. Remember, rate us on iTunes and stay close. Get ready for more episodes coming up. We'll see you next time. Brad. Right.